Mr. Sap, thank you for the free stream. Get this. Anton Holt. Flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fan fucking tastic Friday? Cloak, I saw your message. Thank you for sending me the fucking game. Mike, for the sub, Bob, for the sub. How is everybody doing on this fine fucking Friday? Chat, what are we doing today? It's fucking obvious. We do it every goddamn Friday. What the fuck are we doing today? Bobat for the sub. Thank you for the fucking sub. Reacts. Good fucking shit. Let's do a quick rundown of our reacts. I'm gonna get into a little bit of a rant, and then we'll get into the stream. Before any of that, actually, chat, I got invited to a Quads uh, Fall Guys Twitch Rivals event on May 12th. Do I partake? Yes or no? That would be a Friday, but we would just move our react day to the Thursday. And thank you for the fucking five gifted subs. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the five fucking gifteds. Yes? I would have to find three people to play with. Who should I who should I invite? They have to be streamers. Death with the sub pickles for the three inch buddies. Jack Smith is on cool math games. Is it really? It's back. Bro, we gotta play that on stream one day. That game is so fire. Riri casserole for the sub, Aiden for the sub, and answer. Thank you for the five gifteds. Obviously, yeah, Zeusy. Obviously, Zeusy. Right? Number one, the staple. The bro, I play with him all the time, right? And then I would need two other teammates. I just put up three. Two other teammates. I could invite JoJo. I could invite King Wolves. Does King Wolves still stream on Twitch? Or is he a kick guy now? He still streams on Twitch, right? Max Taylor. Max Taylor? Oh, chat. I am going to play Demonologist with Max Taylor in like a, in like a week or two. Uh, I've never streamed with Max. But he hit me up. Me and him are going to do Demonologist together. He only really plays scary games, so I don't know if Max would do Fall Guys. Uh, Scuff for the sub. I'm John for the 3 inch biddies. Will you ever bring back the videos of you in your yard in your lawn chair talking about life? I kind of do that on Twitch, so no. But they were fun. Uh, maybe once in a while, but it would not... It, I would probably bring it back for like a nostalgic thing. Not like, hey, this is going to be... Another series of me sitting in my lawn fucking ranting. It would be unlikely. But, yeah. Also, chat. Is any of y'all's For You page videos from, like, two years ago? I don't know if TikTok's having another, like, server issue. But the entirety of my For You page all today is videos from, like, a year ago. Like, I don't know why. No, and I'm getting a lot of, like, all of my notifications on TikTok are just people commenting on my videos from, like, last year. Somebody said, you're a scammer. How? You're a scammer, long chin, quit streaming, you're a scammer, can I have VIP? The fuck out of here. Uh, Aiden for the sub. Jesus Christ. Chat! Rundown for today, then we're gonna get into a goddamn story. Off rip. A trailer. I always love starting out stream with fucking trailers. We got... Uh, we got the... We got Vin Diesel. We got Vin Diesel, Fast and Furious, official trailer too. Fast X, another one. Another Vin Diesel family. Another Fast and Furious trailer. Another sneak peek at the shitty movie that is about to fucking come out. Then we got another one. Talk to me, official trailer. I don't even know what the fuck this one is. Uh, but it looked like a decent trailer, so I'm gonna watch it. Uh, then we get into the regular vids. White guy forces Muslim girl to eat pork. Life lessons with Lewis. All friend Darman video. He wanted to do it the hard way. Cop video. I investigated Hitler's death by Tyler Oliveira. I have a magical notebook, and whatever I write in it comes true. One of these dumbass fucking here's my story videos, but they're always funny. Uh, school bathrooms are immoral, undercover, uh, at a feminist gym, and a man in a time loop must work with his brother to prevent a catastrophic fire. What a very specific story. Uh, or title. Tibby's for the sub, realistic for the sub, OG for the fucking sub, Mike and Aiden for the sub, chat! Do y'all want to hear the story before we get into the fucking reactions today? As y'all may know, uh, 420 was yesterday. Uh, I smoked a joint on stream for the first time ever. 
Uh, well, not the first time I spoke to join. First time I spoke to join on stream. Um, afterwards, I hung out with Brooke, right? Everybody knows Brooke came over, hung out with Brooke. Uh, once I ended stream, I thought it was a good idea to eat an edible, right? Uh, cause Brooke was like, let's, let's go get food. I'll drive you somewhere. I said, good shit. Ate an edible, right? And I was already kind of high. And <laughs> then we went to KFC, right? And cause she let me choose. And I said, this is a terrible idea, right? I'm high. I'm obviously going to choose the, like the, the most unhealthy place I could possibly choose. I chose KFC. We, she pulls up to the KFC. I'm just like not conscious. I'm just more, I'm just mumbling orders into the mic, right? Into the fucking, into the, into the drive through window. 12 piece nug, large, large Coke or large Pepsi. Uh, yeah, no, large fry. Yeah, give me the biscuit. Uh, could I have an eight, could I have an eight piece bucket? Uh, and then another five. Yeah, and it was $32. I, $32 at a fucking KFC. At a, I, dude, I forgot how expensive a KFC was. And I, I didn't realize how big an eight piece bucket was. Because an eight, you know, when you're like, oh, I'm reading it. And I haven't been to KFC in so long, right? So, and, and I haven't gotten an eight piece bucket in so long. I haven't gotten a bucket in forever. And I, every time I order a bucket, because I do this like once every two years. I always imagine, like, the drumsticks being kind of small, like chicken wing size. And then they hand you this, like, almost two-gallon bucket out of the window. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be facing this. And when I tell you I ate the 12-count nugget with the large fry, the entire Coke, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give what I ate what I got off stream, okay? And keep in mind, I ate before I went, when I, before I went live. I ate large Coke, large fry, 12 count nugget, four out of the eight piece bucket. Then I ate another one piece later on. I still have three left by that math. Four waffles with peanut butter and syrup, an entire carton of blueberries, eight strawberries, half a bag of habanero chips, <laughs> three pieces of dove chocolate. <laughs> um, what else did I eat? Oh, I made eggs. I made eggs at 2 a.m. I made eggs at 2 a.m. I and then I made egg whites with oh my god, I seasoned them so well. It's like it was like one of the best eggs I ever made. And I'm so fried while I'm doing this. Like to the point where I'm like at, and I felt terrible when I woke up. That's how you know, dude, most of the time you feel great when you wake up. Like not great, but you don't feel bad when you wake up after being high. You know you got too, like, like, I got too high because I woke up and I didn't feel, I, I felt like, eh. I, like, I didn't feel bad. I wasn't, like, hungover, but I was like, Jesus Christ. It, I think it was because I ate so much. And then I unleashed. I unleashed upon the toilet. It was probably the worst, the worst shit I've ever had. I ate so much. Uh, and then I made, yeah, I made three eggs. Uh, then I had some gum. I had a high noon. Oh, that was, that was when it went downhill. That was when I went downhill because I was like, I was thirsty and it didn't, it didn't enter my mind that drinking alcohol while I was high was probably a bad idea, but a high noon is just, it's like juice. It's like, it's like fucking juice. And so I was like, let me, let me down this. And it was a terrible idea. Uh, all right. Cake for the three hundred biddies. My mom went to Wendy's two nights ago. I was ordering for yesterday's festivities, and I ordered eighty-three dollars of food. Eighty-three dollars of food from a fucking Wendy's. What did you get? Six baconators. TJ for the three hundred biddies. My girlfriend broke up with me in December of twenty-two. Been relying on edibles for a really long time to ignore the hurt. Yeah, that's not good. You should not use weed to uh, mask your problems. Uh, I found your streams in YouTube at first, and ever since then, you've been helping me recover mentally, and you're a great guy and honestly a good therapist in a way. Thanks for all you do. Dup. I'm now much better and I bought a car since then. Oh, by the way, I'm 21 so I can do edibles. Well, I'm sorry you had to go through a breakup, but I'm glad you're getting through it and I'm glad I could help. W message. Um, Exa for the sub. Oh, shit. It lame for the raid. W raid. Uh, can, uh, can, Canas for the five gifted subs. 
Tristan, OG, Realistic, Titty, Mike for the sub, Aiden for the sub, I'm John for the three inch biddies. Uh, alright. Are y'all ready to get into the videos today? Starting off with the fucking Fast and Furious trailer. Mike for the three inch biddies, love your videos, you bring smiles after a long day, you're the best streamer. Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright. First video of the day. Fast X, Dom Toretto, official trailer, number two. Get fried? Dude, I got so high yesterday, I'm not getting high today. Punch it. Yeah, fast cars, put the notch in! You know, we'd already be there if Roman wasn't driving four knocks on wheels. You see me shining, baby? We're locked inside! That's a trap. That's a bomb. Hey, oh, ludicrous! 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 Everybody thought he was a rapper! He's actually a really good actor! It's a trap. Dom Toretto family! Trap. That's a bomb! Alright, dorks, what are we blowing up? What? The Vatican? The Aquaman! Oh my god, he's gonna blow up the Vatican! Why is Dom Toretto tasked with saving the day? Maybe get the military involved, somebody's gonna blow up the Vatican! We're tasking Dom Toretto with saving it? But you guys are going to hell. Why is Dom Toretto saving the Vatican? That makes no sense. Why would anyone task him with that? Oh, oh here we go again. Yeah, I'm in gasolina. Yup. Tank that shit in the Hellcat. Yup. And you're telling me nobody got injured by that. And, and they're really gonna try and mask this in Fast and Furious, that, that fucking 3,000 pound bomb. You're telling me, you're telling me the innocent family that was just right there, you're telling me they didn't die. You're telling me they didn't die. You're telling me the bomb blew up in the water. It just immediately masked everything that could have happened. Oh, it blew up in the water. That means everybody's okay. That's Minecraft logic. Creeper, if a creeper blows up in the water... It's not going to do anything, you. The great Dom Toretto. If you never would have gotten behind that wheel, I'd never be the man I am today. And now... What is this? The What is this? The Pirates of the Caribbean fucking... A a am I wrong in saying that's the exact fucking scene they did in the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie? Fucking El Capitan woke up. Woke up in the water. Am I wrong? Yeah, have y'all seen that fucking scene? It's the same thing. That's literally the exact same scene. It's the same, same fucking, that's what I'm saying. There's only 10 movies ever made. 10 movies ever made, it's just the re-fucking, uh, the re-formatting of, of what's the filler content. El Capitan waking up in water, Pirates of Caribbean. This ain't it, what the fuck? I'm not even gonna be able to find that fucking scene. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. And now, I am the man who's going to break your family. Piece by piece. The devils. You would think they would go into witness protection program by now, seeing that Dom Toretto has not once, not twice, not three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but nine times been involved in some militaristic drug, drug deal, bombs, and, and saving the world, end of the world. Ask gang involvement? You'd think that would be in witness protection program. But no. They live on a humble home in Brazil. And, and, and it's very easy to find them because they're always in the same fucking spot. Every goddamn time. They never move. They never move. They live in the same, they live in the same area and, it, and, they, and they broadcast to the world where they are because they hold drag show races right outside the fucking house. You think that he would maybe take some alternative steps to save his family from getting kidnapped for the 15th fucking time. What is this, Taken? Now it's the Taken movie. Now now we're watching Taken 3. Now I am the man who's going to break your family. Piece by piece. The devil's coming. Boom. Yeah, big car. I knew you would come for me. So how about we all just start a lot of guns? Each other. Time to end this. Let's 
dig some graves. Oh, the scary guy that always plays the badass dude in the movies. What's his name? Jason, Jason Sudeikis. Is that his name? He's He only plays the same role in every movie. But I, I'm not going to lie. I love every movie that he's been in. Jason Statham. Jason Statham. However the fuck you say his dumbass name. Jason Statham. The guy that plays the badass man in every movie. That shows no emotion. You are not to be trusted. Hey, you ain't on my Christmas list either. Oh, there's Ludacris again! Oh, there's Ludacris again! Anybody remember the Jiffy Peanut Butter ad? Let's bring that up. Jeff Peanut Butter made him la made him know how to rap. I don't know how that's allowed in advertising, but Jeff Peanut Butter uh, it, it taught him how to rap. Bro. Apparently, based on the ad. One more time. Yeah, apparently he raps with peanut butter in his mouth. Jeff Peanut Butter. He was, how the hell did his hair change like that? Jiff peanut butter. It's that jiffing good. Ludacris changed his flow for it. Yeah, he changed his flow. You hear that? You hear that? Jiff peanut butter made him change his flow. Even though I fuck with Jiff peanut butter, that was a dumbass ad. Hey, you ain't on my Christmas list either. Calvary's this here. May is coming out that soon. Cheers. Don't tell. Don't get me excited. Don't get me excited. We need weapons and cars. Don't get me excited to not watch it. <laughs> Don't get me excited to not go to the movie theater and not watch It's the finale? Oh, really? Oh, this is the last Fast and Furious movie in a year from now. See, the, it would make sense for them to end it at 10, right? I would not be surprised if a year from now they do some CGI prequel shit. Oh, it's Dom Toretto when he was in high school. This is the prequel to everything. Fast and Furious 11. But actually, it's Fast and Furious negative 1. It's, it's back when he was in high school. It's Dom Toretto CGI'd. It's actually him when he was 17 and he, he got his first car. He learned how to drive. Ooh. Cannon cars. John Cena! Do you like surprises? How many famous people are they gonna throw into this movie? I adore them. I'd stay down if I was you. You'll need to hit me harder for that. Badass woman fight scene! They have at least one in every movie. The game's over, Dom. You lose. This is your last ride. Every Fast and Furious movie is exactly the same. People ask me why I hate them. Uh, dude, they're not, they're entertaining movies. They're entertaining because they're expensive. The story sucks. At every Fast and Furious, the reason you watch Fast and Furious is not because you like the plot. The reason you watch Fast and Furious is because you like fast car that blow up. You like fast car and big gun that shoot and blow up in cool CGI movie scenes. It's a highlight reel. Fast and Furious is a highlight reel full of dumb, witty one-liners from famous people to not only hype it even more, and you walk out of the movie going, oh my god, that shit was sick. But the only reason you walk out of that movie going, oh my god, that shit was sick, was not because the story was good, because the story's the same fucking thing every goddamn time. You're watching the same story over and 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 over. The only thing that changes is what car blows up and and how and what gun they used. And this time they gave uh they gave Ludacris an, a rocket launcher. And the other time they went to space for no reason. <laughs> for for literally no reason. Then you might want to buckle up. Yeah! 
And you're telling me they survived this? Oh, 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 who would have guessed it? Tom Toretto's got a parachute in the fucking back. Oh, boom. It's big enough to hold a car. Oh, he's somehow, he's somehow driving down almost a vertical incline. That makes no fucking sense. By the looks of it, I don't think you're driving down that. I think that car's fucking smacking the ground and the kid's dying on impact. You're telling me he's gonna drive down that. By the looks of it, it's tumbling this way. It looks like you're kind of fucking pa get pancaked into the ground. We've seen the whole movie. We already know. They they should have cut it there. We've seen the whole movie. I know everything that's going to happen. Big scary car chase. Um, What's his name? What's the Aquaman's actor's name? Aquaman wants to blow up the Vatican. They stop him. Andy and Z Smith for the sub. Poopy for the sub. And since it's an, Amer it's an American movie, you know that the villain will lose. And since it's the last movie, they're not going to do a two-parter. So, Jason Momoa wants to blow up the Vatican. Jason Momoa's going to lose and die. They're not going to blow up the Vatican. Everyone's going to be okay. And Vin Diesel is going to fucking whip out of there in that, in that 19 fucking 72 Dodge, whatever the fuck that car is, with Nas. It's the same movie. EJ for the three inch biddies. Thanks so much for what you do. I was depressed you make me laugh, so keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Andy, uh, poopy little pancake. Drew for the sub. Nimble for the three-inch bitties. Light the car anyway with strep. Yeah, you should not hit a cart with strep throat. Pure and Muse for the sub, baby. Joe Bartolozzi for the sub. Uh, John Fish for the three-inch bitties. Do you ever lay in your bed at night and think about how fast the people look forward to seeing you every day as in streaming, but as a distraction and a comedian? Uh, yeah, I think about, like, how you guys look forward to me streaming. I mean, it motivates me to stream even more. Like, some days, like, when I had the stomach virus, I still streamed. Even though I felt like shit, I know y'all wanted to watch me, so. Glitch for the 300 minutes. I made my girlfriend start watching your VODs. Now, when she comes over, she asks to watch you. Dub. Fucking dub. Retry, uh, retry for the 300 minutes. You need to watch One Piece. Already started it. Mike for the 300 minutes. Uh, love your vids. Uh, King Care for the 300 minutes. Uh, I already read those. Uh, Aiden from the Three Inch Bits, love you, me, my brother, love watching your streams, thank you. Uh, and for the three, what if the tires burn off of the rims, wouldn't be able to hold the speed and the weight of the car? Uh, yeah, Fast and Furious does, uh, defies all logic. If you add logic into Fast and Furious, nothing makes sense. Lexi for the sub. Next trailer, then we get into the regular vids. Talk to me. <laughs> I don't even know what this is fucking about. It's probably not gonna give a description of the movie, because that's what the trailer's for. <laughs> Have you seen the group chat? I'm doing it again. Somebody said, yeah, somebody said I was spoiling the movie. How would I have spoiled Fast and Furious 10 for you guys if it hasn't even came out? I'm making a definitive prediction that they will kill Jason Momoa and the bomb will not blow up Vatican, the, the Vatican, right? Or Vatican City. I wonder why, because it's an American movie and it's Fast and Furious. Hmm. Huh? You just said the whole movie. Dude, I just said the whole movie, but I didn't watch the movie. I said the whole movie because you can easily see how the movie will go. That's a bad trailer. That's a bad movie. If in the first 10 minutes of the movie I can predict the ending, that's a shitty movie. Hmm. No. Please. That's my mom's remembrance. Are you watching it. Snapchat huh? possession videos? I'm doing it again tonight. Huh? Huh? No. Please. It's my mom's remembrance day. Oh, is this a scary movie? Huh? Oh, yeah, this is definitely a scary movie. Okay, yeah, no, this is definitely a scary movie. Who's up? I'll do it. Cannot go for more than 90 seconds. Am I clear? What happens after 90 seconds? <laughs> Don't want to stay. Light the candle to open the door. Blow it out to close it. Yo! 
somebody does this, I am immediately saying, y'all are tweaking. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to catch y'all on the way out. Uh, I'm going to be in the car, right? Y'all can't stay more than 90 seconds or they're going to possess you and fucking murder you. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm going to not be in this room. <laughs> I'll, yo, I'll watch from the, yo, somebody record this and send it to me. I'll believe somebody record this and send it to me. I don't need to be here to know whether or not this happened. I would want to see, though. Would y'all not want to see? Dude, would y'all stay in the room? Oh, God. What does she shake the hand and it stays there for, like, and she, and she sees somebody or, or some shit from a different, like, realm? Put your hand on it. Now say, talk to me. Talk to me. What did the hand feel like? It felt amazing. I could see and feel everything the other side. So my mom, she was trying to reach out. I'm here. Oh, hell no. You talk to the dead? Fuck that. I thought it was going to be some alternate reality shit. You're telling me I got to talk to to my dead loved ones? And you're going to get obsessed with that? Oh, fuck no. And she's, getting, she's getting obsessed with it. She's doing it more than 90 seconds. Same stuff. You mean same stuff. What the fuck is that? Are they covered in mud? What if we open the door, but we didn't shut it? Oh my god, they followed us! I like it. They're not gonna- Nah, that shit would low-key make me like mob psycho, though. And then I would be like some spiritual psycho. I would like- or not a psycho, a psychic. That would make me like ultimate superpowers. I'd be able to talk to the dead. Do you think they would kill you? Or they would get angry. But why would they be nice and then mad? Stop. No, 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 we're gonna stop. They like you. Nah, see, that's a good-ass trailer. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't even really know what the movie's about, but it interested you, or interested you. That was a good fucking trailer. It didn't give away too much, right? What's Mob Psycho and anime? TJ from the 300 Bitties. I'm watching the new Evil Dead Rise movie tonight with my friends. What's your take on the movie? Evil Dead Rise? Never seen it. It's toxic for the sub. Uh, how to become Teen Titan 101 uh, for the three. Rock for the, uh, for the sub. Black Sheep for the sub. All right, now into the actual fucking vids today. Lock in. Start out with an off-brand Darman. White guy forces the Muslim girl to eat pork. I said try the pork. No. Oh, hold up. We gotta skip the. We gotta skip the the giveaway. They always give away like the most important scene. Thanks for coming out. I wasn't sure the picnic would be weird for our first date. <laughs> well. Yeah, he kind of looks like he'd peel the skin off me, and wear it. If I'm being honest, I thought it was kind of cute. Really? Yeah. I mean, most guys I meet on Tinder, they immediately invite me over to their place. I mean, geez, get to know me a little bit. Put put a little effort forward. Gosh. <laughs> so, you're telling me it wasn't my dashing good looks that got you to come out? <laughs> well, when I heard free meal, I said... Yo, if I'm going to say this right now. If I was, say I was over here, right, and I was just enjoying a day in the park, and I heard this conversation, I might go out of my way to tell them they're NPCs. I might go out of my way and walk up to them and say, have a regular conversation. For the love of God, what are you guys talking about? You're literally saying word jumble. You're doing nothing. Was it, was it my dashing good looks that made you into me? 
What are we in the fucking 1920s? Jesus. Sign me up. <laughs> but seriously, I'm glad I came out. I'm new to this city and I could use some friends. Ouch. <laughs> Friend zoning me already? <laughs> well, I hope you like the food at least. It's specially made. <laughs> yeah, my family owns the whole restaurant. Uh, well, so technically my mom made this just for you. Aww. What is this place? Ooh, Don's Cafe. What kind of food is it? It's American. I got some steak fries on this plate and some pork belly sandwich for you on the other one. Whoa, I, I, uh, I should have told you before. I don't eat meat. I'm vegan. Really? Uh, you don't... <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you, what do you mean? You don't eat animals? What? Excuse me. He starts having a fucking panic attack. It's not that serious. Okay, she's vegan. Eat meat? Like, at all? Well, I have. On occasion, but I try not to. Somebody said Joe the Bits. Pig, can you... It won't even read it. He too much started out the message by saying, well, polish my nuts. I'm not reading the rest of that message. And serve me milk. This girl, okay, yeah, I'm not reading that. He mentions using a lightsaber um, with a toilet, um, hair trimmings, poop, uh, and Texas freedom. So, I'm not going to read what he said, but you can assume. Scott for the 300 bitties. I shaved my head and dyed my hair blue. I look like Gecko from Val. That's dope. Nimble for the 300 bitties. Have you seen the trailer to Unrecorded? I have not. All right. So, you're telling me you're going to turn down this pork belly sandwich? Ew, especially pork. It's against my religion. Yeah, I was going to say on that one, it, that's like dead his fault. Like, he might have not known. He might have not known that, like, she was vegan. But, like, bro. All right. To eat pork? Yeah. Well, that's a dumb religion. Oh. That just slipped out of my mouth. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I would just get up and leave. I, I would tell this kid to go fuck himself and then j just leave. Oh, well, that's a dumb religion. Okay. Bye. Thanks for the dumbass picnic, by the way. Could have actually taken me to a fucking restaurant. We're sitting on these fucking leaves in the middle of some, like, um, shitty-ass park. We ain't even in a park. We're on a lawn next to a fucking tree by your house. Because you don't have a car. You don't have a job. I don't even know why I took this date in the first place. It's okay. I, I mean, it's your family restaurant. She's saying it's okay. He, bro, he called your religion dumb. Probably took it personally. Uh, and, and this is the first date, and he got pressed. No, I, I'm just dumb. <sighs> he starts punching himself. <laughs> ah, why? 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 He brings out a notepad. He crosses off number fucking 83. Another failed one. All right, have a nice day. And he gets up and fucking leaves. He just storms away. He has every dating app known to man. He, he's failed every date he's ever been on. 
So, you're Muslim. Is that what that thing on your head is all about? <laughs> I don't know what I am. I'm not a practicing Muslim like I was growing up. I mean, technically, I'm not even supposed to be out with a guy like I am right now. <laughs> so I'm kind of in this weird space of not being really sure. But I do have my beliefs about things. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, I have a lot to learn. How is this going to devolve into uh, him forcing her to eat pork? <laughs> How it, like now, like, I don't know, what, what is he going to just snap? Hey, why don't we switch plates and you can pick off the fries at least. Okay. Brian and Jasmine hit it off. They enjoyed one another's company. Jasmine was new to the city, so she enjoyed making a new friend. They went on hikes together, worked out together, rode bikes together. Brian, on the other hand, felt a little bit different. He was in love with Jasmine. He had the biggest crush on her and had a hard time accepting the fact that she only saw him as a friend. Brian sat back and thought he could friend his way into a relationship. Things seemed to be going okay until one day when Jasmine ran into an old classmate of hers. Yo, that is insane. He is, he just keeps trying and failing. Like, I would give up. Like, you're telling me, like, he's gonna hang out with her every day? And, and she's always going to be like, yeah, I'm not into you. Jasmine? Is that you? Oh my gosh, Sergio! Oh! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh. <laughs> they just start making here? out. They just start, and he's just standing there pissed as fuck, but he's been waiting. But he's been waiting to get in on this. For fucking months. For fucking months. <laughs> And he's just, and he's just sitting there, fucking watching it. Well, everyone's always talked about California being- Muslim women can't even date somebody who isn't, mu who isn't Muslim. Well, that's why they added, dude, I, I will say, half of these, like, Darman, off-brand Darman videos usually get everything wrong. But that's why they tried to throw in that clip where she was like, well, I don't know what I believe. So they threw in that, like, well, she might not be- a part of the religion, but she still holds some of the religious values. So they always give them, every Darman-esque video gives themselves some, like, dumbass safe gate to where they can't be wrong. <laughs> like, they try to throw in, like, a religious aspect into the video, but then they throw in some other, like, gateway where it's like, okay, well, actually, like, we could kind of say whatever the fuck we want. And then, like, not be wrong place to be uh -huh. and I mean with this weather we have right. come on <laughs> wow it's been like what four years you look <laughs> great you've grown <laughs> oh well, thanks yeah you know I got really into fitness uh -huh. that's part of the reason I moved out here I well, you know what? I actually opened up my own gym you should stop by sometime <clears throat> oh sorry uh Sergio <laughs> well who is this hunk of a fellow well who does this guy think he is I'll have you know that, I'll have you know, Sergio, that she is literally my Discord kitten. <laughs> We've been literally waifu. She's literally been my waifu for like, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three months. Now, I will admit, I, <laughs> the farthest I've gotten is maybe a handshake. But, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get in now. I'm trying to get in now. I'm trying. Hello, this is Brian. Brian, this is... Sergio. Nice to meet you. Sorry I didn't see you over there, little guy. No, it's okay. Look at him, little guy. Nah. We were just hanging out anyways. He about oh. to stab him. He's got that in his eyes. Like he's carrying a switchblade. <laughs> just shank him. So are you guys friends or? No, yeah, we're we've just been friends. talking. We're just I think hanging it's been out. serious. Yeah, it's actually, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty serious. Uh, I'm going to keep it real. Uh, I was gonna propose. I was gonna propose to her today. Uh, I have the wing pop in my pocket. Uh, and I was planning on doing this nice walk here, but uh, you seem to have distracted us. Uh, I was actually gonna propose to her, and we were gonna go on a honeymoon at Holiday Inn. Um, uh, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's right down the corner. Uh, it's a two-star hotel. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. So. <laughs> Okay, well, um, hey, look, I don't want to get in anyone's way about anything, but, um, you should come by the gym sometime. Check it out. Yeah, I'd love to. So much to catch up on. Yeah. 
Uh, it's right around the corner if you want to just come by and pop your head in real quick. Um, is that okay with you? I'll be right back. Yeah, of course, no problem. Thanks, I'll text you. He starts to punch in the tree. Wow, how are you? You look great. Thank you. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> come on, let's get out of here. Damn, he can't even get a fucking handhold. He got his arm around her. Yo, he's starting to tweak out. Oh, here it is. Yo, this is getting Ryan, like stalker creepy. What are you doing here? Hey, you never came back from the gym the other day. I was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? That was days ago. Yeah. Ryan, how do you know where I live? <laughs> what? That is stalker shit, bro. I would immediately get a restraining, a restraining order. No fucking way. That is so weird. That is so weird. Oh my god, dude! I thought I thought like they just hung out. I thought I I didn't think it was. I thought it was weird that he's bringing her flowers, but I was like, oh, they probably hung out at her place, bro. He followed her home. Followed you? Oh, and these are for you. Where is her hijab, dude? I don't know. Like I don't know why they included this part if they weren't actually gonna follow like the accuracy of it. Oh, dude, he's in the building Ryan, with her. listen, you're a nice guy and a great friend, but I don't think we should see each other anymore. And I don't appreciate you stopping by my place like this unannounced. Somebody said, will you be the best man at my wedding? No. I don't know who you are. Oh, God, too much send another one. Do I fucking play that on TTS? The, uh, the boo for the sub I have for the three minutes. Do you still play Fortnite? Yeah, we're playing it tomorrow. Ugh. Tinder Riz 101 by the Tinder Master 2 Inch. When matching with someone on Tinder, the first thing you do is take her out to eat. When you meet to show your alpha bark aggressively at her and then shed your pants to build a fermented funk. Step two, when she goes to the bathroom, make sure to get a wig, and when she uses the bathroom, you sniff that toilet seat when she's done. And make sure to test the water after. Two inch, that's how you get arrested. Uh, step three, test the water. Step three, you want to make yourself attractive by fighting a random dude. Yeah, great advice, man. What do you mean? I brought you flowers in. And I appreciate that. But I don't think we should hang out anymore. I'm sorry. You better not let me into that apartment. You don't, you don't want to see my angry side. I don't even remember her name. Come on, Rebecca. I've been nicey nice this whole time. You don't want to let you don't want to be my bad kitten now, do you? He starts playing. He starts playing fucking Jekyll and Hyde by five a five finger death punch. I feel like Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> he starts singing outside. Gosh, I'm so sore. Oh. I know, right? But it's a good feeling, though. Yeah, I kind of miss this feeling. <laughs> yeah, so one thing to do when you're sore is stretch. And luckily for you, I can help you out with that later on. Oh, God. I bet you would. <laughs> Seeing as I am. So <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> or I wouldn't mind that one bit. I bet. So another good thing to do when you're sore is get some protein in your body. Mm -hmm. And luckily for you, I picked up food from one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Don's Cafe. Oh, Jesus. Have you ever been? Um. They have the best steak fries. Oh, and their pulled pork sandwich, the best. I don't know how I- How does he not know? Like, I'm like, do people not know that? Like, 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 why is, why is everybody in this fucking, in this fucking video? Oh, you're not allowed to eat pork? Like, do they have no knowledge of anything? Like, if you're into the person, you would think you would get to know them. I've never mentioned this to you before, but, uh, I'm vegan. You're vegan? Like, 100% vegan, or would you be willing to try some of this out? You know, on second thought, I, I can't have the pork because of my religion, but I'll have the steak fries. a girl. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? 
I left my protein shake back in the car. Let me go grab it and I'll be right back. Okay. Go. No way this fucking weirdo's gonna come out of nowhere. Oh my god. Dude, that's literally what's gonna happen. Fucking, that kid's gonna come out of nowhere. Oh, I see you ordered from Don's Cafe. That's my dad's, that's my mom's restaurant. All right. Oh, you're saying you're not gonna, oh, you're eating the pork now. Yo, he gonna come out of nowhere. He gonna come out of the trees. Where this motherfucker gonna be? So, you don't eat meat, huh? Brian, oh my god. What do you you don't eat meat, huh? It's like he hasn't slept in weeks. He's clearly been on some sort of fucking drugs. In here. You don't eat meat? You talk, oh, Brian, I don't eat meat. He I'm smells. He hasn't showered in weeks. Vegan. Oh, Brian, let's just be friends. We shouldn't date anymore. Well, you guys look more than just friends. Brian, you're scaring me. I was just trying the meat. The disrespect from you is unbelievable. She wasn't I even trying the meat. She didn't even eat it. She was eating the steak fries. I offered you the same exact meal from my parents' restaurant of all places. Yet, you'll eat with him, but not with me? Come on. Why this don't is literally insane. <laughs> no other waifu of mine would do this to me. She eat the pork. You know I can't do that, Brian. I said try the pork. No. Yeah. Well, how about I feed it to you then? <laughs> Eat that pork, you freaking Muslim. Doesn't it taste good? Oh, you love it. Oh, doesn't it taste good, you freaking Muslim? Eat that pork. <laughs> oh. That was the weakest punch ever. I would break his nose. I would fucking mangle his nose. It would look like I hit it with a meat cleaver when I was fucking done with that. Oh, what the? Oh, what? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Mm, it'll come off. You know what? Let's call the cops. Report this guy for a hate crime and assault. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Brian was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison for committing a hate crime. Where's I, Lewis? Oh, here he is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure oh, to like Luis, my bad. and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love. Yo, his skin is so clear, though. His skin is so clear, though. Boyfriend accused of saying the N-word. I'll cue that for another day. All right. All right, now we're on to a Code Blue Cam video. Uh, Zob for the fucking sub. Ugh, he wanted to do this the hard way. On February 2nd, 2023. Oh, that was fucking recent. An officer responded to a residence in reference to a bond violation in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. A neighbor reported witnessing 51-year-old Randall Creveston leaving out the front door of a home, contrary to his bond conditions. Is bond, what, he, what does that mean? He has, he has house arrest? So he was just leaving the house and he wasn't allowed to? Dispatch advised Randall has an open case in which a condition of his signature bond is to have no contact with the resident of that home. They also stated- Bro said recap. Recap? We just started the fucking video. Pay attention. He had an active DOC warrant for his arrest. Police arrived in the area and located Randall walking on the road. As an officer exited his squad car, Randall began walking swiftly away from him. Randy. Randy. What? Come over here. I didn't do anything wrong. Are they going to cut him off? Yeah, that's going to work. It's not like you're going to walk around you. Oh, he's running! Oh, oh, we got a runner, tease him! He's running from where, myself. Where, where does he think he's gonna go? He's on foot. And there's snow everywhere. Running south Oh, we've just, he just ate shit! He just ate shit. I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's going in the snow. 
Are we jumping it? I'll shoot you if you don't stop. You mean with a taser, right? I hope he means with a taser. Brandy, I'm gonna fucking shoot you if you don't stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you mean, uh, you mean with a taser? He's coming up to Gala. Approaching Gala. Bruh, I would kind of let him run. You know what I mean? If I'm a cop in Wisconsin, I'm a, I'm a let him I'm a let him run around a bit. You know, I'll get him in the end. But you know, I'll do a little wild goose chase. I'll let him I'll let him get a mile away from me. Let him get tired. He's gonna be running in. Have you ever tried to run in like a foot of snow? It is like the worst workout you've ever done. Like you have to be high kneeing the fuck out of that. Every step you get no momentum. Every step is all muscle. You're not you're not gaining momentum. He would be running through the woods. I'd let him get a mile away and then just drive drive to the road that he he gets out on. He'd be so tired, he'd probably just lay down. He's not he'd give up. NRT for the sub executioner for the sub colosa for the three inch biddies. As a fellow Wisconsinite, why the fuck is it always Wisconsin? That's this channel is a Wisconsin one. Ford Explorer Stop. fucking roar. You gotta war it. Stop. What? You've gotta war it. I'm gonna tase you, bud. <laughs> Get out. Wait, will the taser go through like a thick jacket? No, right? If he got like that, ain't gonna go through his clothes. Would it really? And they're that sharp? On the ground now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. As they right, got I'm so, all right, I'm sorry. All right. All right, I didn't mean it, dude. I wasn't trying to run away. I had to go to the bathroom. I had to go, I had to go use the toilet. With him, he continued to actively resist, forcing them to deploy their taser to gain compliance. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Okay, on your chest. I can't breathe. Yeah, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, I'm gonna tase you, bud. You're getting Stop tased. Stop resisting. I'm not. I can't breathe. He's resisting. I can't breathe. I'm not resisting. Get your oh. hands behind your back. How Get old you. is he? 51. Behind your back. Oh. Oh. I'm not resisting. Here it goes. Yep. I'll I cuff him. Breathe. He moves. Yo, how do they handcuff people that can't move their hands behind their back? Like, what do you do? Like, if you're there, like, do they just use multiple handcuffs? Oh, no, we've seen that. They do a double cuff. Hit him again. Yep. I can't breathe. You shut the brand, you wouldn't be out of breath. I didn't do anything. I told you you had a warrant. Come on. For what? DOC. What it. is DOC? Oh, what? Oh, it's headquarters. He's in custody. Taser deployed. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh. Yeah, because you were running in the snow and you're 51. Sit up. Oh. 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 Tuck your leg in. You're wearing the Tims, too. Feet. Oh. In your pockets are going to cut me, poke me. No knives, nothing like that. Why are you tasing me? Because you're resisting. resisting. Oh, was not resisting. Wow, they were like twins on that one. I got out of the crowd. A jinx, you owe me a soda. Oh, was not resisting. Oh. Oh. We are outside of 3310 Gala. Switch sides with you. Separate your feet. Is there a squad coming? Whatever, whatever squad is coming, have them come and lock your lock your Damn, car. how many damn Why things does make out of his pocket? I told you, the Department of Corrections. For what? I don't know, a probation violation. Yeah. 
Probably going over to the house you're not supposed to go to. Over and over and over. And over. Yeah, it, it is paid for it. Paid for it. Yes, it is. It's not your house. It is my house. 10-4. If you wouldn't I mind going to the wrestler's locker mat on Seymour and just locking up my squad. Yeah. Well, why do I have a warrant? Okay. Huh? I'm going to Yo, gonna he say... asks why he has a warrant like 10 times. I'm going to fucking go bonk, bonk. Is anybody in there? Lights on. Lights on. Look at me. Look at me. Anybody up there? Fuck. One more time, and if it doesn't get through your skull at this point, then yeah. there's nothing we can- Shut up! I've told you seven times! ...do to help you. You have a Department of Corrections warrant that your probation agent issued. We do not understand or know what the circumstances of that warrant That's is, but it was issued. You don't have to ask anymore because we don't know. Can I see the warrant? Nope. So you have a warrant, but you want- Bro, everybody, be everybody becomes a fucking genius lawyer in these scenarios. Could I see the warrant? Buddy, if they pulled out the warrant, you, you wouldn't even know what you're fucking looking at. Have you ever looked at, like, a government document? That shit makes no sense. Literally no sense. If you don't read that shit, you, it don't make sense. Shut up. Hey. They're going to pull that shit out. They're going to pull out wa the warrant, and he's going to go, hold up, let me get my glasses on. Yep, looks like a bullshit warrant to me. Like, what is he gonna say? Tell me to shut up. Bring to the back. Yeah, Trying to remove the prongs. Get up against the squad, Randy. We gotta pull the prongs out of your back. Ooh, do they get that deep? When he was asked to sit in the warmth of the squad car, he said he didn't want to because he defecated in his pants. Good? Yep. Alright, have a seat in here until the EMS gets here. Oh, I see my pants, huh? Yeah. Go so ahead, sit down. Yep. Now, if you got shit in your pants, you can actually stand up right here. Stand where it's warm in the door. Here, get your other foot out. Okay, get close to the door where you're warm. Is that better? Oh. I can't imagine having to stand in my own shit-filled pants. Like, you don't really do that after the age of, like, three, and then after the age of, like, 75, you start doing it again, right? But, like, a grown man standing in his own poop. Oof. I could not do that. If I shit my pants, I'd be like, bro, can I go, like, rub my ass in the snow? I would actually ask that. If they, if I'm this guy, I'm going to say, could I go rub my ass in the snow? Please. Please. I'd rather have a wet ass than a poop-covered ass. Please, dude. Could I plop the shit out of the pants? It's just sitting like a fucking blinking log just in the bottom of my pants right now. Could I just do a little flip, little flip, you know, plop it over there, cover it with the snow? Mm. I can imagine. No sense of running from us. You could have just dealt with it and everything would have been fine. Now you get resisting. What was going on? You see us and I, I tell you to stop. I have to get out. That means don't run away from me. That's exactly what that means. Okay. I do too. I'm sick of this bone or You don't have to have an like, envelope. You think it's a wet shit? Bag in your car, do you? Dude, do you want to stand with him for just a second? Yep. Yeah. Can you just check and make sure that's accurate? I don't know why I would have a warrant for anything. I don't know. Yeah, we've got it being sent and confirmed right now. And irregardless of the entire thing, if an officer tells you to stop, then you stop and you can't stop. run. I told you to stop at least twice, and you continue to go. You didn't tell me to stop. He said, if you don't stop, I'm going to shoot you. If a cop told me that, I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground because I do it. I don't even care if he means taser. On the ground. Hands up. All right. All right. You got me. You got me. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not dying today. I told him to stop before you even arrived. Yeah. I told you to stop as you were jumping over the snowbank at Ristler's. So we give you every opportunity to surrender yourself in a peaceful manner. 
You chose violence, so. And violence. then you shit your pants. Resisting. Active resistance, the threat thereof, and its violence. Just for the probe socket thing, there was blood on it. Number one, ten headquarters. Do you have an ETA for EMS? You good with him for a second? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go grab my spot. Dude, I want to see what oh, happens. Okay. How about that? We'll walk over to the ambulance. Right? Oh my God, are they gonna clean his underwear? Stop. If I'm an if I'm an if I'm an EMT, I'm quitting my job. Hello, this is Randy. Randy decided he would run from us. This is Randy. He shit his pants. Oh, how are you doing, Randy? Are you okay? And they gotta be nice. No, are you okay, Randy? You po you pooped your pants. Do you need me to clean it for you? Like this kid's a college student. Like fuck. Okay. Yeah, we'll have. Like, like, <laughs> this kid's like 22, cleaning some man's pants. I don't know if they would clean his shit. Somebody ride with him. He's in custody, so we can't just let him go. Yeah. Okay. How about that? We'll walk over to the ambulance. Is that okay with you? All right. How do you feel? He does one of these. The fucking poop falls out of his out of his jeans. One of these. Fucking shake it out. Fucking just shakes the poop out. Oh god. The torrent for the sub, the kid, and brace for the sub. I want to walk with him so I can park. Yeah. He's waddling. He's waddling pigeon toad so the poop doesn't go all over him. No, Justin did. I got. That's your pick. Okay, did you. The front door, because she's not there. She's not she's there. Okay. Felony bail jumping and misdemeanor resisting an officer. He was released the following day on a $1,000 signature bond. Head over to Code Blue Cam. The fuck am I gonna buy y'all merch for? Decentralized t-shirt lacrosse lore? What the fuck does that even mean? CBC Cinematic user Universe. What? Everybody be making merch. Fucking hell. All right. Next vid. I investigated Hitler's death by Tyler Oliveira. I'm curious as to how he's going to try and prove that Hitler didn't die. Hitler, where Dude, also when people say, Hitler, where are you? Dude, Jesus Christ. When people try to say that Hitler didn't die and that somebody else, it was somebody else's body, okay. He would be dead today, right? How old, well, Hitler was born in 1889. 1889. That man would be how old today? Old as fuck. You think that man's still walking in Argentina? Hitler, where are There are German uh, Nazi soldiers that fleed to Argentina. There's whole cities in, in Argentina that only speak German. But he was not a part of that. Even if he was, he would be dead now. Where are you Nazis? Whose boat is this? That's me deep in the Argentina mountains where the FBI- Oh, he's actually in Argentina. Oh, brother. I believes Hitler fled to and died after losing World War II. Yeah. They found Hitler, he died. Yeah, I mean- Not really? We don't know. There were a bunch of specifically FBI documents that we were spending millions and millions of dollars actively searching for Hitler after the war, trying to find out where this guy went. I'm in Berlin, Germany with one simple question. Did Hitler actually die here? I don't think so. So the bunker site has been turned into a parking lot? You just think he died here? Nobody knows. Okay, actually? And on the right side, it says this is where Adolf... Wait, Hitler's bunker got turned into a parking lot? That is fucking hilarious. Eva killed themselves on April 30th, 1945. You don't think he fled elsewhere? That is a big question. I can't go into it right now. Oh, I see. I mean, it's good that they're not keeping that shit up. They should take, they should take down the things that, like, he liked, right? Like, yeah, they keep up the things in memoriam of certain things so you can see them, but they shouldn't just keep everything that he has up. Yeah, they built over it.
Got it. Maybe we should move on. <laughs> the history say that it's here, but no one can say, yeah, it's true. Where might he have died if not here? I thought it was in the mountains somewhere. The mountains? Yeah. It's truly a mystery even in Germany? Yeah. I think he's dead. He's dead? Yeah. Okay. He didn't go to- No shit, he's dead! Oh my god, now I'm doing the math. Now I'm doing the math. 2023 minus 1889 is 134. The oldest, the oldest person to ever live was Lucille Randon, who died at 118 in 1997. Oldest person alive. I think there's somebody alive that's old. Oh, no, 116. Yeah, so not only would you make the conspiracy that Adolf Hitler fled Argentina, but also that he would be the oldest man to have ever lived. To have ever lived by, like, 30 years. But I like Argentina? <laughs> I can't tell. Hitler actually died here is my question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys on a tour here? Huh. Probably. Elaborate. Probably. Okay. Where else could he have gone? Yeah, you said Argentina. Okay. His friends went there. Got it. Everything is possible. Well, I, I heard that uh, he flew to, to Argentina. Argentina? Yeah. In Argentina, they said that it was Hitler's house there. He, he, he was able to escape and go to... But South America. The clues lead me to Argentina. The question is, where are you, Hitler? Flight montage. So I headed to Bariloche, Argentina, a small town in the middle of the South American mountains where countless high-ranking Nazis fled to after losing World War II. I've made it to Bariloche. And you'll notice that the... I don't understand the the mindset of somebody like that right like this is off topic but for somebody to go so wacko that they think it's okay to start killing millions and millions of people and they have their own un like what it was his understanding of the world right like there's some people that like do bad things but then there's hitler right like, there's people that have done bad shit in their life. And then there's Adolf Hitler, right? Who has done quite possibly, or is quite possibly one of the worst men, if not the worst guy to have ever existed, right? And, like, why? Like, he wasn't sitting there like, oh. Because the way I perceive it is you're a mind in a body, right? Everyone, every, you don't choose where you're born or anything like that. And yes, he was against a certain religion. But still, like, to sit there and be like, yeah, I'm going to kill everyone. And he wouldn't even just kill you. He would kill you even if you weren't Jewish. Even if you had people in your family that were Jewish, you would die. Because your blood was like that. Like, you got to be a fucking idiot, right? Like, a, like, an idiot in that sense. Yes, he was a very persuasive person, and he was conniving and all that stuff. But, like, you're insane. Like, to think that just because they're born into that blood or into that religion or they're a part of that religion, that immediately means that they should die. Ryan from 301 Bits. Are you fucking stupid? It's because he made a particle accelerator that makes him live forever. Maybe if you didn't look at everything at a surface level, you'd understand. Van for the 510 biddies, the torrent for the sub. The architecture looks unusually German out here. Out of nowhere. Stalin tripled his numbers? Yeah, but he's still one of the worst people to have ever existed. Boom. German architecture in the middle of Argentina. It's super random and it doesn't make sense. Unless you consider the fact that Nazis fled here after World War II and made it their home. You could go into Bariloche, Argentina, and you know, I'd be like, Buenos dias, amigos. And they're like, Guten Morgen. Okay, I made it to my hotel. This place is weirdly European. Definitely sus. This whole city feels like Europe. It just like inserted itself culturally. Many Germans here? Uh, used to be, yes. Okay. Yes, there are some. Interesting. After World War II, Argentina's president- Oh, number one goal, find the Nazis in Argentina. Yeah, okay, okay, Tyler. Yeah, number- find the Nazis in Argentina. Number two, find 134-year-old Hitler. President Juan Domingo- Fine. Oh, he's dead? Okay, start digging the dirt. And- and match DNA- start digging up people's graves until you find him. 
Perón was yeah, a big yeah, fan yeah, yeah, yeah. of Nazi Germany. So he welcomed Nazis to Argentina with open arms, and a lot of them came here. Thousands, if not tens of thousands, of high-ranking Nazis made it there. I'm talking. Didn't Hitler marry his cousin? No, that was Albert Einstein. Albert Ein y'all didn't know that? Albert Einstein married his cousin. Y'all didn't know that? Albert Einstein... Uh, Il Elsa Einstein was the second wife and the cousin of Albert Einstein. Their mothers were sisters. They were first cousins. In high ranking Nazis. Not even third? No. Not even third. Nazis. Officers, guys like Joseph Mengele and Adolf Eichmann. I mean, these are the most disgusting, despicable humans to exist at the time. The beautiful lakes, the beautiful mountains, the German architecture, a perfect place to flee if you're a Nazi. I want to see if I can find someone who speaks German before I finish sharing with you this video's sponsor. Dislike. A turn. Where? What do you mean? Where? Are you? Yeah. Okay, muchas gracias. Okay, well, there are Nazis here. Allí? General Nazi. Allí? Sí, que Bo only knows Allí? Allí? Bro learned how, bro learned how to say, all right, where are the Nazis? Over there? Nah, he probably knows better Spanish than me. No doubt. No doubt. I cannot speak Spanish. If you, if, if you put me in Argentina and you said, good luck, I would be fucking lost. Sí, sí, oh yeah, no, he actually looks like he knows Spanish. Vamos. Muchos Nazis están aquí. Sí. Sí. Oh, does Tyler speak fluent Spanish? He might. A persona? Sí, era un... Creo que era uno. Está yeah. still alive? No. This is Eric Pripke, a high-ranking Nazi who killed over 335 men and children in Italy, fled here to Bariloche after World War II, and lived peacefully for 50 years, until a reporter found him, got him to admit to his crimes, and then he was extradited to and sentenced in Italy, where he died. But why did you shoot them? He lived 50 years before they fucking got him? Bro, that looks like a new picture. Like, when was this? This is Eric Pripke, a high-ranking Nazi who killed over 335 men and children in Italy, fled here to Bariloche after World War II, and lived peacefully for 50 years, until a reporter found him, got him to admit to his crimes, and then he was extradited to and sentenced in Italy, where he died. But why did you shoot them? They had not done anything. It was ordered by our command. But orders are not an excuse. Oh my god, bro. If this dude could start a whole new life here after being a known high-ranking Nazi, killed hundreds of people and why couldn't hitler and maybe he did so we're gonna ask around go to a few how other was he just then found well dude earth is pretty fucking big earth is pretty fucking big right and yeah it's easier to find people now but in like the 1940s if you just kind of like did a crime and then went to argentina i don't think anyone's gonna find you now yeah but like imagine before before Wi-Fi and cellular phones, you kill 10 people. The government's after you. You just move to Argentina. No one would ever find you. Ever. Javon for the three. Hitler's birthday was yesterday, I know. Shane for the sub. Phantom for the three. The Thief Sim 2 trailer is actually crazy. You can actually kill security guards. You should play it in June. I am. Uh, Tristan from Three Jimmies, what if Adolf is, like, Strohan from JoJo's? I've never seen that anime. Uh, uh Bogey for the sub, Ryan for the 301 bits. No Nazi locations here, and see what's going on. And lastly, if we don't find anything- How do people know he went to Argentina? They don't. Well, that's the conspiracy theory. It's a fact, though, that many high-ranking German officers did go to Argentina. Here in Bariloche, I want to go all the way to the Analco house, two hours away in the mountains of Patagonia, where Hitler allegedly died. 
This is the mountaineering club where a Nazi named Hans Rudel was a part of. Let's check this out. I don't know if they're Yeah, he looks like he likes smelling feet. Wow was a part of let's check this out i don't know if there are any clues here i don't know if hitler came here let's see what's up it's definitely closed nazis i don't know oh 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 okay we need to find the college while i was trying to find the german school pretty bro i want to learn another language so i could go to a different fucking country <laughs> fuck Okay, ran here while he was alive. I found my second clue. Do you know about Nazis that live here? I do actually, I'm from Germany. Okay, tell me about it. Do you have any Nazi descent or ancestor? I do, I guess so. Okay. Like, I think my, like, my great grand uncle. Interesting, uh, okay. He was like a pretty tough Nazi guy, yeah. Wild. You heard there was like Nazi history here. You might want to go to like the Colegio. Uh, have you been there? No. Oh, you haven't been there yet? No. Let's go there, man. You I, go? I can take it there. All right, leave me away. What's your name again? Uh, my name's Johan. Johan. Yeah. Dude, these people have nothing. Like, like, every time he finds somebody that's just not busy. Like, do people just have, like, the time in the world? Oh, hey, some random person that I met. Do you want me to spend the rest of the next two days with you? German name. My great grand uncle was actually like in the party, you know, and he was like, you know, the Heil Hitler kind of okay, guy, you know, sure. like. And he sounds like Swagger Souls. Am I wrong? You know, and he was like, you know, the Heil Hitler kind of okay, guy, you know, sure. like. And here we are. Bro, he sounds exactly like Swagger Souls. My great grand uncle was actually like in the party, you know, and he was like, you know, the Heil Hitler kind of guy, you know, Souls. like. And here we are. We're at the. Like Tell me about this. What do you know? So the Pripka guy was like the the president of the school, you know. Pulled up here and just made this his new home. Sounds yeah. nothing like him. Well, two inch. Uh, nobody agreed with you, so maybe you're fucking wrong. Uh, same same story with like the doctor guy. Tell me know? about him. Yeah. He, he arrived here and they. Doctor who? Mengele. Joseph Mengele is okay. his name. Joseph Mengele, the the doctor of death that escaped trial in Nuremberg and made it into Argentina. Well, it was obvious Nazis. Yo, wasn't he worse? The doctor of death? Didn't he, like, do... Was that the guy that used to do experiments on, like, Siamese twins? And would try and, like, swap brains or, like, parts and shit? And they would, like, do, like, the weirdest fucking experiments trying to, like, see if you could, like, have consciousnesses in different brains? Oh, God. And they, like, is that what they did? Did they swap brains? What did he do? I gotta look that up. Weird experiments... Doctor of Death did. Joseph Mengele, human experiments. Pairs of twins. Wait. Pairs of twins and persons with inherited anomalies were put at the disposal of Dr. Mengele and subjugated or subjected to all imaginable specialist medical examinations. Oh, no, they would just kill people. Oh, shit. They would sometimes do experiments on them, and sometimes they would just kill twins. Like, they would kill twins and then I investigate their organs and brains to see how alike they actually were. Dude, what other experiments did he do? Oh, there's pages on this. He would put children's heads in jars and send them to Austria. They did an experiment when one uh, Jewish woman had a child. Uh, and then Joseph Mengele said, let's see how long it can survive without food. And then they waited to see how long it would take a newborn child to starve. They would forcefully sterilize people, or he would.
Shaquille for the sub, battle for the three Jimmies. Uh, my old dog once swallowed an entire bone, threw it up immediately, and he bit me in the face when I was three, so we had to get rid of him. I have a scar now, too. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks your dog was, like, aggressive like that. Why did, Were they always like that, or was it just kind of random? Uh, all right, I already read all the other ones. Definitely lived here in Bariloche. The question is, where did Hitler go? All right, we're headed to the Inalco house, allegedly where Hitler died. All right, it is 7 a.m. in the morning. Many believe he died in the Patagonian mountains, only a two-hour drive away. All right, we were driving around here, and we noticed this. This is true. I kind of thought, like, when I'm old, I kind of want to die in the woods. Like, imagine you know you're going to die in, like, five hours. Wouldn't you kind of want to, like, go into the jungle? And then, like, and then just, like, die in nature. I feel like that would be better than in, like, a hospital. I don't want to die in a hospital, dude. That sounds awful. You start your life in a hospital, you end your life in a hospital. Ugh. Yeah, hospitals are, like, all loud. They smell. Somebody said, are you okay? Dude, like, I have, I have a genuine thought. And instead of, like, you know, you actually pondering on the thought that I have, hey, I appreciate, I appreciate you saying okay, but it's, it also just comes off as, like, you just assuming me mentioning death means I want to kill myself. Like, no, that's not, like, I appreciate you asking if I'm fine. Me saying when I'm old, I want to die in the jungle is not a crazy thing. That's not, like, are you okay? Is that weird? Oh, that's weird, Joe. How is that weird? You want to die all coked up in a hospital? Astray for the sub. Trevon for the sub. Hitler reference. Right Did you say you wanted to kill yourself? No. But when people, when I mention, hey, I want to die in the woods one day. Oh, are you okay? Oh, that's not normal. Is there something wrong? No. How is that weird? Right here. Look at this. Interesting. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Yikes. Dot, dot, dot. Hitler stash on this dude. Is he of German descent? I don't know. That might be a clue. Let's hop back in the car and go. And 30 minutes in, I spotted a very European-looking gas station and tried to riz up the clerk for more clues. Did Hitler die here? Possible. Is it possible? Así se dice. Interessante. We know it's possibly died out here. We need to keep going. If Hitler is alive in this house, 130 years old, I'm going to body slam him, tie him up with rope, and extradite him to the U.S. government, and he will pay for his war crimes. Can if you body slammed a 130-year-old man, I don't think you could tie them up and put them on a plane. I think they would either die by the body slam, they would die of a heart attack in the airplane, they would die on the way to the fucking court. They would die. Dude, like, they're, you're like a glass cannon. Just pulled over to the side of the road here. The house is literally right behind me, by the way. I'm gonna have to go ninja mode and sneak in. This is one of the- Somebody redeemed Dent. I get it. I see it, chat. I see it. I see it. Not even really dented, because all my hair's flat. The spookiest things I've seen in a long time, I'll admit. Okay, that is the house. This thing is massive and spooky. I'm genuinely a little bit concerned. Looks like I'm going to have to trespass and sneak in illegally. This is genuinely one of the scariest things. What the fuck? <laughs> I just heard two gunshots. Did you hear that? Uh -huh. Those are gunshots, right? 100%. 100%? 100%. 100%. Actually? Like 100%. <laughs> Could they have guns out here? <laughs> this is allegedly the house where Hitler lived and died, but maybe he's still alive shooting a shotgun to scare us out of here. We need to be ready to run and just like fly away. <laughs> Rifle's a shot again. <laughs> this is scary. If I get killed, this is definitely natural selection. This is Jesus. Yo, Seb, please don't spam, bro. Please. Seb, love you, man. Don't do that ever again. <laughs> don't do that ever again. Yep, you're getting timed out now. Asked him not to do it, he did it. TJ from the 300 videos, what's the link for game suggestions? I want to see you uh, play Wolfenstein at some point. Uh, it's in the video suggestion tab, and if Wolfenstein is that game that's like 12 years old, I'm not playing it. I think somebody else recommended that. If it's not, then maybe, but that, that one's old as fuck. Our taxi driver, down there, Nazis? Si. Hitler? Si, si, si. Si, Hitler? He lived down there? Claro. 
What? We investigate. Let's go. Okay. Right now, Pasha's flying the drone to the Inalco house. The question is, what will we find? That is the creepiest shit I've ever seen in my life. Straight up looks like Hitler could live <laughs> Okay, right there. Why does that look like Hitler could live there? This straight up looks like Hitler could live here. It straight up looks like a fucking log cabin. It looks like a log cabin. Okay? Uh, what, what about this house? Like, is there, there's not just some Nazi symbol in the fucking lawn or some shit. This looks like Hitler could live here. It looks like a log cabin. It's like a pretty big log cabin compound. In my life. Straight up looks like Hitler could live <laughs> Okay, right there. Boom. And then there was another one right here. And after we flew the drone a little bit closer to the water, you can vaguely make out three people on this beach. But the question is, who are they? Was one of them Hitler? Is that Hitler kayaking in the water at 134 years old? And why are they here? And out of nowhere, this car drove to us. Turistas? Owners? Nazis? Hola. Oye, es por aquí está la casa de Nalco. Está aquí. Is that Hitler right there? Sí, sí. sí. La casa de Hitler? Sí. Hitler muerte aquí? Sí. Sí. Hitler vivía aquí? Sí, algunos sí todavía. Sí. Sí. How many years did he live here, Jesus? No sé exactamente, pero muchos años. In el bosque? In the forest. How does he know that? Right, we're going in. We're gonna enter the Analco house where Hitler allegedly died. We heard four rifle shots earlier. I told him if we don't come back in 50 minutes, we've been killed. So let's go for it. Let's infiltrate. Let's go. This is, what does it say? It says peligro, danger. You look behind us. There's a giant collapsed tree that blocks the route. A live wire? Kowalski analysis, what is that? That is a low voltage, high frequency wire. Touch it! Put your finger on the wire. Touch the wire. That is definitely live right now. Don't touch it. You will get killed. No, touch it. You will quite literally die. Huh? Uh, okay, die. Mm, me thinks I could eat the electrical energy. Uh, me think oh, you're telling me if I touch that metal wire, I'm going to die? Mm, what if I touch it with my toe? Mm, what if I just give it a quick tap? You will get killed. You'll die. You will quite literally die. Huh? Also, dogs barking. Did you hear that? Is it getting closer? Can I outrun a dog? No. A little bit spooky. I could climb honest. that tree. I wouldn't be that worried. I think I could fucking bear hug a tree. It says private property. This is allegedly the site where Hitler died. There are 16 buildings here. And the question is, who would build such a mega mansion if they didn't have a massive ego? Other I than Adolf Hitler. Maybe one of the other, uh, I don't know, 8 billion people in the fucking world? Or 2 billion people at the time of 1942. I want to conquer the world, i.e. Adolf Hitler. This is definitely creepy as hell. That is the house right there. A little abandoned shack right here. We gotta watch, keep our eyes out for live wire. Oh my wire. god, imagine there's just him in, him in the fucking bed. Like, they actually enter the house and it's just him just kind of like sitting there. Oh my god. Shack right here. We gotta watch, keep our eyes out for live wires. We get insta-killed. Caution right there. Straight up bed bunks right here. Definitely saw someone just right there. On God, I'm pretty sure I saw a white figure. Okay, we're gonna increase our speed. I don't feel super comfortable. I've seen a white figure three times. Let's go closer. Okay, look at all that live wire too. Tarp right there, I'm not sure what they're hiding. There's coloring of Nazis right there. Go in the hat. Coloring of Nazis. Mass genocide, this would be a perfect place go to- Go in the house. Hide out. Why is that locked? I don't know what's in there. Hello? Hello? I don't know what's going on out here. Just kick in the fucking door. I'm kicking in the fucking door. You're already trespassing. You might as well go in. Tire tracks right here. People are out here, but the question is where? We heard rifle sounds right before we entered. Why did they leave? Let me ask you this. How far can a rifle shoot? Miles. What the fuck? And they, and they move at like 1,500 meters per second. So we're fucked right now. So like even- A gun? A gun moves quick? And if you're running, you're not gonna dodge anything. So we hear a shot right now? Easy. Hello? I'm pretty sure I see a human being right now. That's someone's foot. Brother, someone's leg. Pasha, what is that? That is somebody's foot. Is someone's shoe? That's somebody's foot. Someone's dead? Where? 
brothers. My God, fucking go talk to the guy. That's a goddamn shoe. Got a foot. Do you need help? I'm trembling. Bro, that is not, that is not a person. Where would the... No, that's a foot. No, dude, that's a foot. Where's the rest of the fucking body? Under the mattress? Right now, I'm shaking. That's a fucking shoe that somebody left there. What am I looking at? All right, motherfucker, pray for me. Is that Adolf Hitler wearing Skechers? Just a shoe. Okay, we got a bone right here. The excavated soil. Is and this Adolf Hitler's bone? Maybe this could be some part of his, uh, you know, body. This might have belonged to the hand region. There's a bone right there. I may have literally found the bone of Hitler. Is this a human bone? <laughs> no! No, and that, I feel like it would not, why would his bone just, why would one bone be there? <laughs> Could this be Hitler? No, that's <laughs> probably a fucking dead animal that got fucking mauled by some shit in the woods. <laughs> I'm taking this bone with me and we're getting the hell out of here. Oh god. Where are you, Hitler? Whose bone is it? Hitler, where are you? Oh, I thought you were worried about yelling because there was riflemen that could shoot miles in into the woods that were watching you. Nazis! Hitler! Where are you? Whose bone is this? Who's here? Who lives here? Whose bone is this? Bone in hand and paranoid as hell, I began to book it. When, out of nowhere, I heard this. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Run! Hitler, where are you? Run! As he unending the question is, was this Hitler's bone? After barely escaping the evil Nazi hideout, flying back to America and getting the bone DNA tested in a state-of-the-art laboratory, it turns out it was a dog bone all along. E-Town for the fucking sub. Uh, Ryan from the Three Ninja Biddies, if you could interview any person that has ever existed, who would it be? Jesus Christ. Stray for the Three Ninja Biddies. Uh, Toad for the sub at tier two. Uh, thank you for the fucking sub, Toad. What's up, Toad? I don't know if you're here, bro. Thank you for the tier two sub. Uh, yeah, probably, probably a religious figure or somebody who was very smart. Just so I could see. So he exists? Well, I would interview Jesus to see definitively, like, if Christianity was right. Or I could easily, I could choose Jesus, I could choose Buddha, or I could choose Muhammad. I could choose, probably a religious figure of some sorts. Ashtray for the sub. If the opportunity represented itself, I'd probably ponder on who I would choose longer. Monkey for the sub, E-Town for the sub. Uh, and Sloth for the three inch biddies, you're such a dub, you make every, uh, you make my day every time you stream. Dub. Strife for the three inch biddies. Today, my teacher started cursing me out and saying somebody like you shouldn't take that long in the bathroom. In short, I was there in there for two minutes. She asked me what I did. I said I was taking a shit. She said, come on, uh, come down with me next time and wipe my ass. <laughs> It'll save us some time. That's what you said to her. God damn. I would never say, I would never have the balls to say that to my fucking teacher. Jeez. All right, next bed. Actually, let me go use the bathroom real quick. We're halfway through the stream. We're not halfway. Almost halfway. I got to fucking pee. Count me down 30 seconds, chat. Hold up. 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 I got to find a non-copyrighted song. All right, there we go. Count me down!
Thanks, Ben. Uh, Aries for the sub, little peep from three, Smitty. Sorry for just tuning in. Uh, I'm working even though I'm barely 16, and today there was a process in my school that was draining. I'm sorry to hear that. And Seb, for the 50. Dude, you don't got to apologize. I just timed you out because, because you kept fucking spamming it. Uh, I saw, bro, thank you for the 50, dude. I stopped right after you saw the message, but the three seconds of the light betrayed me. You're good, bro. I only typed you out for 10 minutes. Monkey for the seven. Thank you for the fucking $50 donut. W, Sam. Uh, E-Town and Monkey for the sub. I'm not mad at you, dude. I just timed you out because you kept spamming it. I I'm not going to, like, un-VIP you or something. Oh, all right. Lock in, chat. Next video. I have a magical notebook, and whatever I write in it comes true. Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. Oh, already hating this. Ar I'm Erica. That Saturday, I was headed to piano class as usual. To make sure I wasn't late, I was practically running. At one point, just as I was about to cross the street, the light turned red. I saw a lady sitting on the pavement crying. She had two large suitcases with her. Are you okay? Is there anything I can help you with? I asked her. I, I live only two blocks away. <laughs> But I have no strength left to carry my suitcases there. <laughs> Damn. And I and I mosey on my way. Wow, really? And I keep going. And I keep going. You don't got the strength to carry two suitcases? Okay, they're old. Yeah, they're old. Why would you attempt to do that? She has the death note. Why would she attempt to carry them? I've been crying here for an hour. No for an hour. One cares. You're the Yeah, cuz people got shit to do. Okay, in reality, I might help out an old lady that needs help carrying something. But you're saying, "Oh, I've been crying and nobody's helped me." Have you asked anyone for help? Have you asked anyone for help? First person that approached me, <laughs> she said. So you were sitting there crying for an hour and waiting for someone to, to see if you needed help rather than asking for help. A key factor, people are very helpful in life. Hey, if you asked me to carry your bags and I didn't have a, an, an urgent thing I needed to do, I would probably help you. But if you don't ask for help, shocker, people probably aren't going to give you help. Key life lesson. Some people will go out of their way. Most people won't. If you ask for help, you might receive it. Thank you for the sub, Zeusy. What's up, bro? Uh, Slam for the five hundred biddies. Here's more biddies. I can tell this is a shitty ass video. TJ for the three hundred biddies. Somebody said steal the cases. <laughs> oh yeah, sure thing. I'll help you. What's in them, by the way? Oh, gold. Barely <laughs> able to talk between sobs. Is it only the suitcases you need help with? No need to get upset. I'll help you. I responded with a smile. We walked two blocks. When the lady stopped in front of a luxury building, I was surprised. We went inside. I dropped the suitcases in the room that she showed me. Thank you so much. I have a gift for and you. And this is where she's a serial killer and she murders this young kid. And she murders this kid. Just fucking, just slashes their throat. And yeah, gonna kill her. As a thank you for your kindness. I'm sure you'll like it, she said, leaving me alone in the room. A few minutes later, she came back with a notebook. I need to- Wasn't she late for class? Something. What I did earlier was a test. You passed the test, therefore you are deserving of this gift, she said, holding out the notebook for me. A test? What test? I asked. A good person test, she replied with a smile and added, flip through it. And I'm gonna say that about dumb as hell, lady. I don't want your dumb ass notebook. Thank you for the fucking, thank you for the fucking notebook. I appreciate the offering. I'm not going to take it. Just wanted to help you carry your bags. Bye. If you can spot anything. I started looking through the pages. It was all white. This notebook is where blank. They, this is where that she, she's that old person. Who are you again? Why are you in my house? And then she shoots me because she, she's forgetful. Right. Why are you in my house? Because she's left me for five minutes. Forgot who I was. Sh Shorty pumps me into the fucking chest and I die for helping an old lady. Because she didn't remember who I was. I responded. 
On each page of this notebook, you can write one wish. The wish you write down will come true. I know what I'm saying sounds ridiculous. Money, 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 money. Living a thousand years, money. Bitch, I'm writing a thousand things on that fucking infinite money. A thousand plus years on my life. Cure cancer. You could just do everything. Cure cancer. Find meaning to life. What? Ridiculous. You don't have to believe it. Go infinite books. Infinite books. That allow me to do the same thing as this book. Go home. Try it out. Error. Error. This ruins the entirety of this fucking book. Error. It's the same thing as, like, the three wishes. I went one of my wishes. I, infin I, I wish for infinite fucking wishes. And see for yourself. Oh, you can't say that one, though. All right, I wish for infinite genies that have three wishes. The old lady. He said. What do you mean? Is this a magical notebook? I asked, surprised. Yes, sweetheart. You're holding a magic notebook in your hands. There's three rules you need to be aware of. One. From now on, you are the sole owner of this notebook. You can't make a wish for someone else. Each wish needs to be for yourself only. Two, when your wish is granted to you, you can't give it to someone else or share it. That's why I don't recommend wishing for money, because as I said, you can't give it to anyone, so the money you get won't work. Three, the notebook has 41 pages right now. You can only put one wish per page, she explained. But why are you giving it to me? I asked. I can't share the wealth? Ain't that dumb as fuck? Oh my god. So that's kind of like a curse. I- everything that helps me, I can never use to help other people. I'm just gonna seem like a greedy fuck. You got- I wish for a million dollars. Oh, hey, bro, I see that you're rich. Uh, could you buy us a round of shots? No. Why not? I can't tell you. No. Bro, you have a billion dollars. No. Sorry, that's, that's, it's a $4 shot. Nope. You can't cure cancer. You can't do anything. What's the fucking point of having this notebook? If you can't fucking do anything other than yourself. Or, or other than help yourself. Could so you're saying if I bought if I wished for a car and then I drove the car to go pick someone up that that what a dumbass fucking dude you can't use the book the, whoever made this story is a fucking idiot because now oh I wish for a car uh, hey do you want to go do you want to go to you want to go to Six Flags oh hop in my car oh well I just broke the rule. Last. An old lady gave this notebook to me 45 years ago, telling me that I was a kind-hearted person. Thanks to this gift, I've had a wonderful life. I wanted to pass this miraculous notebook yeah, on- Yeah, you, you ever wish for, like, a non-shitty haircut? Damn. ...into another kind-hearted person, she answered. What I'm a fucking be wishing for? Yeah, give me a good-ass haircut. Give me a non-shitty hairline. I went back home because I'd already missed piano class. I sat on my bed with the notebook in my hand. The old Yo, why are people saying lag? How long was it lagging? Oh, it lagged for literally five seconds. Master and Jacko for the sub slow for the three inch videos. What is the scariest experience that you've had and what is your biggest accomplishment? <sighs> biggest accomplishment, probably success on social media. Scariest experience, I don't really know. I would have to think about it. TJ for the three inch videos. Somebody said steal the cases. All right, I read that. The woman seemed very convinced. Yeah, it's not lagging anymore. Yo, for the people that are still spam- sa My God. For the people that are spamming lag, just fucking refresh, dude. Instead of being a fucking idiot and sitting there going, Wag! 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 Refresh your fucking screen, dude. My God. Instead of being a goddamn dumbass, just say, Oh, maybe if I fucking refresh it. Wag! I can hear you and I'm listening to you. 
but I'm not actually going to process any of the informa information that you're going to say. I'm just going to fucking type, WET! Insane, but I had to try it out to be sure. I opened the notebook and wrote down the first thing that came to my mind. I want a Big Mac. As soon as I finish- Yellow ass teeth. Bitch, my teeth aren't yellow. They ain't shiny, pearly whites. Sorry I'm not one of those influencers that pushes those fucking scam-ass, purely white deluxe Snapchat ads that y'all fucking see 35 times a fucking day. Sorry I'm not one of those influencers. People always ask me why my smile is so nice. Well, actually, I use purely white deluxe. If you want to get 20% off, bitch, I don't care about your stupid-ass fucking teeth. I don't care about your dumbass teeth. As long as my teeth are healthy, I don't really give a fuck if they're a little tinted yellow. I don't got no fucking pea teeth. My teeth, oh, sorry, they're not pearly white. I have natural teeth. Oh, a lot of people have been asking me why my purely white... Bitch, nobody asks you that. You're responding. And then sometimes, and then sometimes they'll do a fucking comment response. That's just their dumbass friend. That's their dumbass friend. Hey, Tommy, can you, can you type... Why are your teeth so white? Well, as you can see, a lot of people actually ask me why my teeth are white. No, they don't. Nobody gives a fuck. One T for the sub, master for the sub, Jacko for the fucking sub. Two inch for the three inch biddies. What would I wish for if I had the magical book? I would get even more Riz to compound on my current Riz to be unstoppable on Tinder. That would be your first wish. I would wish for loads of tests and blast it into my buff. Or blast it and get buff. Why wouldn't you just wish to be buff? I would wish to get more height. Uh, and I would riz up 2009 Mega Fox. Or Megan Fox. Okay. Writing it, a Big Mac appeared before my eyes. Oh my gosh! Yo, no way she used a wish on a Big Mac. No way she... You got 41 wishes. Ever. Somebody said, dude, it's still lagging. It's not. That's on your end, dude. I'm L lag. I'm going to time you out. I, I, Even if it's lagging for you, I said stop spamming it, dude. It's not lagging. I'm running at 8K bit right right now. It's not lagging. It's on your end. It's on your end if it's lagging. I'm sorry. It is. It's on your end. It has to be because it's not for anybody else. On my end, I'm not reading any statistics on my stream that are running lag. If it's lagging, it's you. I wish for more pages. It's, I, I don't know if she can do that. But she got 41 pages. She really wishing for a Big Mac. I finished writing it. A At least fucking wish for like 10. You could wish for 100 Big Macs in one in one sitting. Big Not Mac. one. Appeared before my eyes. Oh my gosh. No way. I screamed. When I saw the Big, Big Mac, Mac, I was both happy and upset. I was happy because the notebook was truly magical. I was upset because I just wasted a page of my notebook for an ordinary hamburger. I had to talk to my mom about this notebook as soon as possible, but she had gone rafting that weekend with her boyfriend, William. I briefly thought of calling my dad, but I decided not to. It's been two years since my parents' divorce. My dad only called me twice on my birthdays. He was a disappointment for me, and I had no intention of sharing something so wonderful like a magic notebook with him. In the meantime, I needed to think of a new wish. Since there were 40 pages left, I had 40 more wishes. I had to pick each one carefully. I had a brilliant idea. Yo, she's a fucking NPC. Oh my god. This is like walking up to some this is like walking up to some idiot and just fucking handing them the book. That has no that that one that one friend that just has no fucking nothing going on up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Giving the worst person this book. She's not thinking deeply about it at all. She wrote that a Big Mac. Oh, I had a bright idea. She's gonna wish for a fucking bowling ball or some shit. She's going to wish for a fucking, uh, uh, more, more Big Macs. More Happy Meals. Maybe give it to somebody that would fucking actually use a good, write down a good thing. What is she going to say? This is definitely a great wish. I oh, she, yeah, she going to wish for a dog. And wrote, I want my voice to be as good as Dua Lipa's. <laughs> Somebody said dead wish. 
dislike the video, bro. I might. That was that was fucking bad. Oh my god. I want my voice to be as good as Dua Lipa's. You thought the Big Mac thing was a fucking waste? But then you're gonna write this shit? This has no relevance. Who gives a fuck? At that moment, I felt something in my throat. My vocal cords were transformed. Then I began to hum a melody. I sounded perfect <laughs> and now had a singing voice just like Dua Lipa's. At that moment, I realized I was about to live my you perfect life. She's about to wish for life. clout goggles. She the motherfucker to wish for clout goggles. Oh, I always saw them on Vine. I thought they were so cool. With this notebook in my hand. <laughs> Can you come home a little earlier? There's something important I need to tell you, I texted mom. Honey, I can't come back before Sunday evening. You can text me if you like, she replied. Apparently, I had to wait for her. This was so huge that I wanted to talk to her face to face. On you ain't got no friends? I'm not trying to be a dick. But, like, fuck. The one, the only person you can talk to about it is your fucking mom. You ain't got anybody else you could share this fucking knowledge with. J just your mom. You ain't got no one, a cousin, a fucking brother, a fucking friend, your janitor. Bitch, I'd be telling someone. Dude, I got a notebook that makes everything I fucking write in it happen. Sunday night, my mom came home with her boyfriend, William. Normally, he doesn't live with us. He just came over to she help She's gonna mom wish for William to die or something. ...carry her things. I told my mom I wanted to talk to her in private and told her- I wish William would shit his pants right now. <laughs> what a good wish. ...for everything that happened in detail. When I finished telling my story, I showed her the notebook. Just like I expected, she didn't believe me. <laughs> this could be the most absurd thing I heard in my life, <laughs> she said laughing. Then I'm going to do a little demo for you. You'll see this notebook is magic, I replied, <laughs> grinning. When mom said, oh yeah, I'm And sure. then I wish for another Big Mac. I will. Mockingly, I got annoyed and wrote the first thing that came to my mind. I want a diamond-studded iPhone 14. As soon as I finished writing and I- Bro! I'm getting mad. Because of how lit- Dude, if this was like a fucking 500-page book, okay. But, like, damn, dude, you got fucking, thir what, 39 pages left? You just wasted three fucking wishes. iPhone appeared in front of me. It was shiny and sparkling. My mom screamed in fear. Then she took the phone, examined it, and finally mumbled, hey, Erica, this notebook is truly magical. <laughs> For a while, my mom and I talked about what kind of wishes I could make. Then she went to be with her boyfriend. I lay down in my bed. I fell asleep thinking about my potential new wishes. When I opened my eyes the next morning, I saw my room was full of money. What the heck is this? I screamed in shock, jumping out of bed. I saw that my magical Yo, notebook- Yo, no way the mom stole the notebook. Wasn't on the night table by my bedside where it was supposed to be. I began to sob. My mom appeared at my door. She must have heard my crying. She too was surprised when she saw the piles of money in my room. Erica, what was it William? What's going on? She asked. I don't know, Mom. I don't have my magic notebook. Did you take it? I asked. No, honey. Why would I take it? She said and stopped. William. William stayed over, but he wasn't here when I woke up this morning. I wonder if... <laughs> the ex fucking... Or not the ex. The fucking new boyfriend stole the book. But he yoinked that shit. Said I'll have the book. Give you a fucking few mil and dip. If mom, did you tell him about the magic notebook? I asked in shock. Yo, I'm gonna still blame her though. Like, if y'all had your hands on a magic notebook, would you just leave that shit on your bedside? I'm gonna be cuddling that bitch. I'm gonna be sleeping with the fucking notebook. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a fucking multi-lock safe on that shit. I'm not gonna be fucking leaving that for somebody to take it. Yeah, lock it in a vault. The boy talks up for the five. Couldn't wish for the rules to not apply because that is, isn't a rule to change the rules. I don't know. They're not going into, like, the paradox shit of it. Or not the paradox. The fucking contradictions. Pop up for the sub. Garbage for the three inch Look up Grace Caroline Curry so this boat down can make sense. I wish for her to set on my face. Dude. Okay. Look, 
My mom was so upset. Erica, we've been thinking about getting married. I couldn't hide something this big from someone who's going to be my husband soon. She replied. So, what does all this money mean? She asked, staring at the money. I had an idea. Mom, there are millions of dollars here. I think William wrote- There are not millions of dollars there. Unless those are all hundreds. Money in the notebook. But even if someone else writes the wish, it comes true wherever I am because the notebook belongs to me, I said. That makes a lot of sense, my mom said, before calling William, who didn't pick up. She took a photo of the money piles in the room. William gonna it. ask for some weird shit. William gonna ask William gonna ask for some weird shit unknowingly. That that shit's about to pop in about to pop into her fucking room. To him, along with a text that said, The money you wished I for I wish for a he's not nah, I'm not even gonna say it. Or is here. Since Erica is the owner of the notebook, every wish made comes true for her. It's never going to work for you. Please bring it back. What about the Ferrari? William responded. What Ferrari? What does he mean? She mumbled. I looked outside. There was a brand new Ferrari sports car in front of the house. So somebody said J Slat's monkey ball statue appears. William must have wished for a Ferrari. Thankfully, the car is not sitting in my room, but where it's supposed to be, I said. Mom took photos of the car. That's here too, she wrote to her boyfriend. Half an hour later, the doorbell rang. William was standing at the door with the magic notebook. I would write in the book, Kill William. Period. Cut William's dick off. Period. Never take my notebook again. Remove William's hands. Nah, that's... I wouldn't kill him. Remove William's hands. Now you don't have hands anymore. Thanks for the notebook, buddy. Have fun trying to grab it again. Ow, ow, ow. In his hand. Please forgive me. I made a mistake. I actually wanted to wish for a few things, but then I felt so bad and decided to bring it back to its real owner, to Erica, and handed it to me. He was obviously lying. He had figured out the notebook wouldn't work for him because it belonged to me. <laughs> he brought it back because he wanted to benefit from my wishes in the future. Apparently, he didn't know I wasn't going to be able to share the things I wished for with anyone. Mom got really mad. How dare you! Get out of here! I don't want to see you again! She screamed. William walked up to my mom, threatening- Cut William's cock off. Period. Threatening my mom. Make William the size of an ant. And then I would put him in a jar. <gasps> oh my god! And then I'd put him in a jar. And I'd give him a little habitat. He'd have a little, a little mini mount. He'd have a little, he'd have a little, a little, a little mini home. And he would be like a little, he would be like a little ant farm. And I would tap on the glass like that kid in Finding Nemo. Every day at 4 a.m. WAKE UP! Two inch from three inch of bitties. I have a good idea for wish. I would wish for my mommy spider Gwen. Not reading it. Yo, stop with the down bad messages today. And garbage from three inch bitties. After garbage is, I'm done with that. I will get what I want from that notebook. I'll do anything for it. If you don't cooperate with me, I'll tell the mob. They'll kidnap your dear dog. Make William unable to speak. Period. Like, dude, this kid's a fucking idiot. Daughter, you'll never see Erica again. He hissed at my mom. I never liked this guy. He would definitely do as he said. William was about to attack my mom because she kept pushing back. I had an idea. I flipped the notebook open. I want William to live in an igloo on the North Pole until the end of his life. <laughs> nah, that's actually not that bad. Oh my god, it's gonna teleport him? Dude, an igloo in the North Pole? Bro, that's even worse. I would rather, I would rather be shrunk into the size of the ant and given a home. Oh my god. William to live in an igloo alone. I wrote... William disappeared the second I finished the sentence. <gasps> he vanished! My mom yelled. Yeah, mom. I said the oh shit moment there and him just thinking about that. Like the rest of his life, he's just gonna be like, damn, bro. I really live in an igloo now. <laughs> I, really I really live in an igloo in the North Pole and I'm fucking stuck here. Fire for the three inch Them to the North Pole. 
He'll never bother us again, I said to her. My mom let out a big laugh. Dear magic notebook. Nah, I would you use You are a one Nah, I would save I would save a few pages, right? And after like ten years, I would teleport him back. Randomly. Just just randomly. Like he's he's accepted the fact that he's there for his entire life. I bring him back for like five minutes. And I'm like, William, I think I'm forgiving you. Psych! And then I send him right back. And then I send him right back to the fucking North Pole. And then he's back there the rest of his fucking life. Dur, she said. We didn't hear from William for a long time. We just found a letter in our mailbox last week. It was from him. I don't have a phone here. I can't reach you. How the hell did he send mail from the North Pole? He would starve. Or I freeze. wanted to apologize to you and your daughter. Please forgive me. I want to come back. I swear on my life not to bother you ever again, he wrote. I felt sorry for him. What should we do, Mom? I asked. Mom shook her head and said, I don't trust him at all. He needs to stay there if we want to feel safe. We never talked about William again. By the way, if you're curious, I've made two more wishes since then. First one was to get high grades on every exam I take. That made things really easy for me at Or you just wish for hyper intelligence. Stupid ass wishes. Number four. School. The second one was to always be in perfect health. My mom <laughs> wanted me. Bro, just wish for immortality. Wish for immortality with the exception that you could kill yourself if you wanted to. So then when the sun explodes, you can fucking call it quits. Wish for that one. I don't even get headaches now. I have third. Somebody said, why does William's hair look like a pile of dog shit? Slaw, slaw myth for the 420. Bro, that was an okay video. That was annoying as fuck. Ugh. All right. Well, next vid. School bathrooms are immoral. Lock in. I would rather give a- Oh, God. I gotta turn this down. I would rather give a porcupine a bear hug than ever go into a school bathroom. There are few places more foul, grotesque, and utterly offensive than school bathrooms. I'd rather risk dropping a deuce in my pants than going in that hellhole. Today we will be covering the issues in school bathrooms as well as the sinful activities that go on in there. Like and subscribe if you're new. And but I do love this guy's videos. Comment down below your worst experience in a school bathroom. Firstly, we got the conditions of the school bathrooms. The moment you creak open that wretched door. Dude, elementary school bathrooms were the were, were worse than high school bathrooms. Because I remember, dude, there was a kid that used to poop on the toilet seat. Every day. I wonder who it was. I never found out who it was, but I always wonder what they're doing now. Like, do they ever sit there and think about the fact that they used to just shit on the toilet seat? Bro was literally the cereal toilet pooper, or the seat pooper. I remember every day I would walk in, it would be the third stall. Every day. I can envision the bathroom. There was, you would walk in, there were stalls, there were stalls all on the right, and then directly in front of you were all the urinals. And there was always that one kid that would pull, uh, I, I suspected the kid that shit on the, uh, on the toilet seat was also the kid that pulled his pants all the way down to pee at the urinal. Because those kids were... Demented, right? Psychos, right? To be able to to fucking say, all right, I'm at a urinal. I'm gonna pull my pants down to my ankles to piss. Frosty for the sun. You are automatically hit with a fresh whiff of ass and regret. Like it always stinks. They need to provide every student with a hazmat suit at the beginning of the year. I remember I went to the bathroom before my first class. And mind you, it's like 7.30 in the morning. I figured that the bathroom would be sparkling clean and would smell like bubblegum, roses, and scissor. I used to think that the janitors cleaned the bathrooms once school got out or something. But when I opened that door, my life flashed before my eyes. The stench violated my nostrils and the bathroom was still dirty as hell. The bathrooms always looked like the aftermath of Chirac. The stalls at my high school never had any doors. Like the motherfuckers was wide open and what's crazy is that there's still niggas taking shits with no shame and there was hella graffiti on the walls and stalls and not only was there normal graffiti with markers and whatnot there were full-on engravings with like a knife or some oh, corny ass dude, like stories yes yeah, stories on the fucking walls
bullshit. The mirrors would always be shattered and there would always be trash everywhere. There would be more paper towels shoved into the sinks and toilets than Matt Stoney shoves glizzies down his esophagus. And there wouldn't just be paper towel and toilet paper either. There would be an entire cupboard's worth of snacks in there too. Like bro, there is literally a big industrial sized garbage can right when you walk in the door. Don't let me find out you niggas are eating while y'all going number two because if you do, you need to be put on a- Nah, you ever see- Dude, this is the most common thing, but it's always the, the grossest. You walk into a bathroom and one of the toilets is clogged. But when you analyze it, you notice that somebody took a shit, wiped their ass, flushed it, it was clogged, right? And then another person came in, took a shit on top of that, wiped their ass, it's still clogged. And then, like, it's just like you can see that there was, like, three different people that willingly pooped in a toilet that they knew would not flush. Fucking list. Also, reason 8,458 of why TikTok is trash. It started the whole devious lick trend. You know, the trend where niggas were stealing literal property from their school. And my high school was no exception to that trend. When was that? Was that this year? Was that this fall? That was this fall, right? When was the devious lick? Devious lick trend. When was that? That was 2021? That was two years ago almost. That was 2021. That was fall of 21. Wow, I thought that was this past fall. But rather than stealing a pencil sharpener or a clock or something, we got our soap dispenser stolen out of one of our bathrooms. And there were three in there. Niggas had to go to the back of class to use sanitizer instead. And you know what's worse? They never replaced them. There was no soap in that bathroom for the rest of the year. But we'll come back to the states of my high school bathrooms. Now we gotta talk about the amount of people that are always in the bathroom. I'll just be trying to take a piss in between classes and there will be a militia of people in the bathroom. And they don't- Yo, And motherfuckers just standing there. Having a conversation. I never understood that. Why are y'all talking in the bathroom? Yeah, the kids that are vaping. But bro, like, fucking, I'm trying to take a piss. Some dude standing right behind me having a chat with his friend. Why? You go to college, no one's in the bathroom. If you go to college, if somebody's in the bathroom, they're pooping or taking a piss, they immediately dip. Because there's actually good fucking communal places to talk. Not just high school, where it's the hallways and the bathrooms. We'd be doing anything either, just taking up space. But we'll come back to that in a moment. They always used to say that multiple girls are always going to the bathroom together, but it's damn near the same thing for the guys. Now back to what I was saying about what people would do in the bathroom. First we got the vapors and smokers. Sometimes I'll walk into the bathroom and it would look like a scene from the mist. The average person would have thought there was a fire in that motherfucker. But when you're in high school, you already know about the nicotine fiends. But usually this doesn't really bother me, nor am I one to go federal and tell the teachers or anything. But I remember one time a teacher that came into the bathroom would call like three niggas drooling in there. And they got suspended. Bro, I remember there was a little window on the, there was a center, the most popular bathroom in my high school when I was in high school was the center of this one hallway because it was like everyone that was passing, no matter what way you went, you passed the bathroom, right? Like there's always, at every high school, y'all know the bathrooms that are like, if you had to poop, you would choose a specific bathroom because there's some bathrooms that are overcrowded. There's some that are usually unused. Like, you usually have the ones that are, like, le when less people walk by them, they're less used, right? It's just the traffic. More people will go ease of use and just be more uncomfortable. That bathroom had a, a window. Uh, and then it was, like, it was about, like, yay big. And you could see, like, the, the sinks, right? And maybe some of the stalls. There would be one, one of the science teachers would dead ass. Like, I remember I would take a piss one time, and there would be kids that were jewel. I didn't jewel, so I didn't get worried about it. But there would be kids that were jeweling, like, right around the corner. And he would be looking in like this. Like, through the window. Like, like l waiting to see somebody fucking taking a rip or some shit in the fucking bathroom, thinking they wouldn't get caught. And he was about to bust in there. One time, I was I was in my... I had, a, I had my honors house of a two class right across from that bathroom. And I remember hearing him yelling at some kid that he caught. Crack for the sub. Bend it for like a week. Look, I don't vape or do anything like that, but if I did, I could contain myself until the end of the day. But these niggas deadass can't function without their fix. Another time when I was coming back from PE class, when I got into the next hallway, it smelled like Snoop Dogg had taken a couple walks through that bitch. And everybody in the hallway was talking about it. The smell was coming from the girls' bathroom, but I don't think they ever found out who it was, though. In the words of Emery Andrew Tate III, breathe, breathe air. air. 
<laughs> Dude, I don't know how people... Number one, I never got high in high school, so I can't even relate to that. But in college or just in class in general, I don't know how motherfuckers get high and go to class. If you're failing a class and you get high in your class, there's your fucking answer, right? There's your fucking answer. You're in class high. That's why you're failing. That's why you're failing. Number one, the class isn't hard. The class isn't hard. You don't, you're, not, you're not just not good at math. You're fucking stoned in your calculus class. I wonder why you're failing. And I like getting high. I'm not sitting here like, oh, we bad. But like, dude, you're not going to be productive intellectually taking tests and quizzes and learning things. Except for the sub. Like, that shit's crazy. <laughs> Another thing that these cave dweller turned students used to do in the bathroom is shoot dice. Now, let me educate y'all on what shooting dice is real quick. Bo Bad from 300 Bitties. Some dudes in my high school were smoking weed in the bathroom and lit it on fire. It spread to the girls' bathroom. They got, all got arrested. How do you light the bathroom on fire? What, did they light a trash can on fire or some shit? Shooting dice is the same thing as craps in which a first throw of 7 or 11 wins and a first throw of 2, 3, or 12 loses while any other first throw to win must be repeated before a 7 is thrown and the amount of niggas that would do this in the bathroom was astronomical and this I've was never back when seen that, I've never seen people play that in the bathroom were too young to have jobs so these niggas was gambling with their tooth fairy money and shit but like I left the joint lit and threw it in the, gar uh, the garbage yeah that's just stupid I would like put water under it or something I said earlier with the vaping and smoking, it didn't really bother me, but it just made me realize that these niggas can't be saved. And you also got the motherfuckers that be in the bathroom skipping classes. Like, bro, you decided to skip class to hide in the bathroom? At that point, I'd rather suffer in the classroom than sit in that diabolical dungeon. There are so many better places to skip class in. The cafeteria is top tier when it comes to skipping class. Yo, y'all ever had that one friend in high school that would act like he didn't feel good to miss a test? Like, I never, I never thought somebody would ever do that. I thought that was a, some, like, fucking movie shit. And then I had my uh, U.S. History 2 class, and one of my friends, every test, the period before, yeah, my stomach hurts. And he would lay in, he would lay in the nurse's office and, like, take a nap for, like, an hour and a half. And then, and then get up and be like, I feel good now. And then one day the teacher was like, bro, you feel bad every time we have a test. If you do this again, I'm going to fucking fail you every time. And then he had to stop doing it. But that would have sucked if one day he actually did feel like shit. And then he couldn't fucking get out of it. Donnie from the Three Inch I was before the vaping, but we had kids going to the bathroom to dip. To dip? They would pack a dip in, in the bathroom, watch us stand there for five minutes and then leave. I, I got into high school, uh, the the start of the drooling pandemic. My freshman year in high school was 2016, 2017. And that's when Jules became like popular. And that was like everyone and their fucking mom was vaping, dude. In our high school, the staff that was supposed to be monitoring everything were lazy as hell. So there were dead ass be times where you could spend the whole day. What is dip? It's tobacco that you pack into your lip. And you get, you get a head high from it. It also gives you mouth cancer. In the cafeteria, bro. A better spot would also be the library. It's the same song and dance as the cafeteria. But yet these niggas still chose to reside in the fucking bathroom. And when you come in there, they look all scared like some rats or something. Something else that pisses me off about people who skip class in the bathroom is when they ask to go to the bathroom. And since most teachers don't let multiple students go to the bathroom, you're waiting a fucking month for them to come back. One time there was a girl in my class who needed to go to the bathroom. When they that's why I love college. You ain't gotta you, you you ain't gotta ask someone to use the bathroom in college. You could be dude, in my college class, there have been people that have just gotten up and left and came back 45 minutes later. No questions asked. The professor isn't gonna be like, where were you? They don't give a fuck, right? Cause you're paying to go there. So if you want to get up and leave, you can get up and leave.
named her Rebecca, but there was already some other girl in there. She asked the teacher to go, but she was turned down. So Rebecca said she was gonna go anyway, and the teacher wrote her up. That's still one of the most eye-opening experiences I've ever had at school, because it really made me realize how demonic my teachers were. All I know is that that couldn't have been me, because if a teacher gives me a referral for going to the bathroom, I'm slamming her ass like Kurt Angle in 2000. And also, these motherfuckers were shooting dice on the bathroom floor. And if you haven't put two and two together yet, the bathroom floor is quite literally the most repulsive surface known to mankind. Speaking of the bathroom floor, once there was a literal log of shit. Oh my god, bro. about the details and the steps the hats have went down in order for bro to drop his snickers bar on the ground he had to be fighting demons in that bitch there has also been piss on the ground as well how does one miss the toilet when you're taking a piss or even worse the urinal like when you use a urinal you're literally pissing into a wall is that tos i don't think so but i don't know so how does the one so of the i'm not gonna chance that i just skip it lakes end up on the floor maybe having the bathroom look like an r kelly wet dream and then it makes your shoes stick like your fucking spider-man and shit bro now if these motherfuckers weren't shooting dice or vaping like their life depended on it then they were fighting now usually the type of fighting that went down in my school bathrooms was a prestige and calculated type of fighting slap boxing now slap boxing is exactly what it sounds like you slap a nigga and whoever lands more punches or knocks the other person out wins this was a common occurrence in my school and niggas was making did y'all have slap boxing? I always said we had belt fights. I never saw... I would see people slap box, but it was more belt fights. Because we had a uniform, and so you would take off your belt and just fucking whip the shit out of each other. Full-on fist fights? That's, that's different. Every high school has full-on fist fights. Uh, I'm saying slap boxing is a method that people just do for fun. You might not even be beefing with someone, and you'll agree to a slap box. Trying for the sub. I gotta spit out this gum. I'd be chewing the shit mad loud. Donnie from 300 Bitties. They always have Carhartt jackets on, so they kept the bottle in their jacket to hide it. Wow. Making flyers for this shit like it was WWE. Come see oh, Jason and Derek, Derek battling battle out in the bathroom. You went to a private school? Yeah. I went to a Catholic school. Locker room at 3 I'm not Catholic anymore. PM. And don't get me wrong, I don't condone violence, especially when it's senseless, but those used to be some of the funniest shits of all time. One of the smaller but subtle elves that school bathrooms provided was the toilet paper. Now I know you luxurious ass niggas that probably go to private school and shit got five star Charmin ultra soft toilet paper. No, see like that's like, that's just a, everybody always said, hey, hey, I, 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 I didn't go to like one of those fucking private schools that was like mad fucking expensive, like up in like uh, upstate New York. That's like 45 fucking K a year. And I had a grant to go to my goddamn high school, right? But we had one ply toilet paper. Like motherfuckers trying to say, oh yeah, the private school kids had fucking two ply. Oh, you had three ply. Oh, you had fucking, you wiped your ass with fucking towels. No, it was the same shit. Paper or whatnot. Bad. They just want to make money. They're not going to give you expensive toilet paper. Public schools, we get toilet paper thinner than Kevin Durant. Yeah, it looked like that. But like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I've never taken this shit at my school, but I have attempted to blow my nose. And I had to layer it like 20 times so that I don't sneeze through it like on the Big Bad Wolf or something. But honestly, you're lucky you found You went to a brokey private school? Yeah, I didn't go to the one, I didn't go to like one of the ones that was like 45k a year. But like, I still went to one that was like, I think it was like 12 when I went. Now it's like 18. I went when I was like, it, it was like 12k a year. I paid like two because I had a grant. Because I come from an only family, or only one parent family, all this other shit, so. I didn't have to pay um, as much together. Trying for the sub. Paper or paper towel, because just like- You death had bidets. We didn't have bidets. Dude, people like, like people, it's like, you think a private school would be one way. The, the one, the, the private schools that are like, stay there, like boarding schools, that's different, right? Those are fancy. Like, when you're paying, like, 45, 50K a year and you're living at the high school like it's a college, yeah, those shits are fancy. But, like, when you go to, like, just a base private school and it's, like, a day-by-day -day one, like, they'll be pretty normal. What is a bidet? It's something that shoots water up your ass. With the soap, niggas be taking... You went to the prep? Yeah. Taking them hoes, like, free samples at Costco. And finally, arguably the most satanic and has... Yo, Mr. Maximum, spam that one more time. I'm a perma ban you. You ain't need a fucking, you ain't, you ain't need a fucking spam that shit. 
thirstiest people to ever step foot in a school bathroom. The niggas that be recording people in the stalls. Now prepare y'all ears for the information that I'm about to release to y'all eardrums. When I was in like my freshman year, there was an Instagram account of niggas feet when they were in the stalls. Bro, words cannot describe the emotions that I was feeling. And since I didn't have Instagram, I had to pull it up on my phone and Google. But like I said earlier, I've never taken this shit at school. But there were niggas from my classes that got caught lacking. And the captions will be some of the most sinful and repulsive words to ever- How many times have y'all taken a shit at school? In college, every day, every time I have class, I, during my, um, second class, I would go poop. Every day, because they have nice ass toilets, right? Colleges, you got a nice ass toilet, you find a bathroom that's pretty decent, you take a longer walk to get there, but you know, you're getting a, you're getting a nice poop in. But, fucking high school bathrooms, dude, never, never. Uh, I mean, like once, twice. I, I would shit in a bath. I, I would shit in a high school bathroom. My high school bathroom, probably like three times. And one of those times, one motherfucker was like, "Oh, you're pooping," and that was annoying as fuck. Like, like when you're trying to take a shit, and you rip ass or something, and like motherfuckers just start cracking up. Like, dog, let me take my shit, right? Oh, ha ha! It's funny. You're in a bathroom and somebody just farted. Oh, uh, next time. Next time I'll sit there and I'll be dead quiet until you fucking leave. I'll wait five minutes for you to finish vaping so I can fucking continue my shit. Oh, by all means, I'll put a pause on my poop so you can fucking, so you can fucking hit your vape in quiet. I'll pull my legs up too so you don't even have to see my fucking ankles. There's a private school where I live that's 70k a year to go there. Dude, any, if a private school costs more than a college, you're bugging to go there. Like, that shit's crazy. Uh, trying to, uh, trying for the sub PP for the 300 bitties. Been down, uh, recently because my fish, uh, Bethany drowned and you just bring me up. Uh, well, I'm glad I could bring you up and I'm sorry your fish drowned. Glaze my eyes. It would be like, looks like Brandon had to drop a big one. Smells like burning tires and cinnamon. My nigga, what? But I think that concludes- Yo, somebody posted that on Instagram. <laughs> Nah, that's mad funny, though. Okay, see, now, now that's fucking hilarious. They got an account for kids that are taking a shit. Looks like Brandon had to drop a big one. <laughs> Smells like burning tires and cinnamon. <laughs> bro, just taking a picture of his shoes. Nah, bro, that's fucking hilarious. That's actually fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. Okay, I wouldn't be mad if somebody did that. That's fucking so funny. Wow. All right. Next next fucking video. Undercover at a feminist gym. Y'all have sent me this video so many fucking times in the video suggestion tab. Also, exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord. Send videos for me to react to and games for me to play. How I find a lot of my videos that I react to is through you guys. So if you have any videos you want me to watch, make sure to send them in the video suggestion tab. Uh, because you guys have sent me this video a lot, so we are going to watch it. Um, <clears throat> also, quick shout to Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime for free, in which case you get one free sub per month that you can use on any creator of your choice. Somebody said, who's the creator of, you of this video? Fred Beyer. Fred Beer. Are you, uh... Oh, undercover at a feminist gym. Lock in. Are you, a uh, woman? What does it look like? You look like a man. You know what DERF is? Mm -mm. It's an inner roar. Sir? <laughs> no, no, you can get out. You have your ID on you. I've got a quick pump. You're a man, you can get out. You call me man, it's not man. What is it? It's whatever I feel like. Gotcha. This video's gonna be a little bit serious, some more serious topics. You can see we're at Goodwill, and I'm getting my disguise today. I'm going undercover, I'm getting an outfit, and I'm gonna try to hit. They some... have all women gyms. I didn't even know that. All women's gyms, see if they accept me, see if they, like, you know, if I pass the vibe check or not. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting. But I'm just saying, though, if one of them try to. It's loud as fuck. Yeah, it was the intro. Swing at me. I hold him back. Okay, that was actually kind of fucked up. How you doing? How you doing? Getting close. I'm gonna dress up as a woman today. Do what? Somebody said this is pissing me off already. Why? You gotta be kidding me. Miss, quick question. Would you wear these? I would not. But a young person. You're, you're young. Yeah. <laughs> Guess see that Riz? Man and I'm Riz power. Woo. I need someone else's opinion. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. How may I help you? 
Oh, I see you coming. No. We're having a meeting. How may I help you? I'm part of the meeting. <laughs> Yeah, you're right next to him, too. We're having a meeting now. He's trying to fucking come in. Mm-hmm. What the? Oh, we're being recorded. I just need your guys' opinion. That's all. Have a great day, sir. Ow! Oops, sorry. I was just oh, leaning back oh, on. Are no. you okay? Yeah, I'm all good. Uh, what just damn meeting are they having? Question. Okay. I'm not sure, like, interrupt it. I'll be quick. I'm sorry. Going to an old woman's gym. Trying to dress up. Go undercover. Fantastic. See, that's all I needed. Yep. That's all I needed. Have a great day. I don't know why you said a screen. This is not 2K. That was odd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you said a screen. This isn't 2K. <laughs> <laughs> See, honestly, guys, that was great practice. Cause, like, I feel when... like he's going to start being a dick, though. He's going to get to the point where he's like, ugh. Wait, he uh, like uh, it, it's funny now, but I'm wait, I'm seeing if it's gonna get bad. I go to these gyms. You're gonna meet me at the door, but I have to slither my way in. Harry Potter slithering. I'm What's sorry. going on, guys? You have your idea, anybody? Bro, why are the cops here? I guess that means no. Do you have your ID on you? Just shake, yes or no. Well, I guess not. Right, let me get your information, guys. Get oh please. I have a prank to do. Let's see what's going on. Oh, okay. There's another one. We're doing a 38. What the hell is a 38? Um, that's been locked. Yeah. Okay. What's the 38? Trespass. Uh, look at that shirt. Just tell me to leave! They're getting in trouble? Nobody gave them a, a warning that they had to leave. Yo, I'm about to start. I'm gonna start fucking suing. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my lawyer up right now. Hold up. Let me get let me get Saul on the phone. Let me get let me get better call Saul on the phone here. Are they allowed to do this? Oh, they are? Are they really allowed to do that? Like trespassing even though they didn't get kicked out? Don't you need a warning? Do you like it? Be honest, don't lie. First name? Um, big guy, camera boy. Come here. Camera man. Camera boy. Or boy, it works. You guys are acting like little boys right now, no? <laughs> he ain't saying anything due to the camera just dead silent. Fucking. <laughs> acting like little boys right now, no? Just fucking that. He doesn't talk, and I don't think you can touch the camera either. I know you guys are like funny or playing games and stuff. That's not gonna happen with me. You're not free to leave. Oh, so you shit. wanna play this game or no, not? No, I can see we're in a pickle. You need to know. Tell Homeboy over here to start cooperating. Homeboy, start cooperating. Do you have any wants or warrants, Fred? If I did, I would have hit the dash. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I didn't know you guys were actually upset. Okay. Swear to God, I didn't. Dude, you walked up, you're like, oh, I love your shirt. I was like, oh, I was like, okay. Like, she's, you know, it's a yeah, why did? Why is she mad? Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to be that guy, bro. Like, yeah, you might have had a bad day. But, like, why did they give a fuck? Like, have y'all, dude, there was a time that I was wrapping my friend's car in saran wrap. And uh, some old woman called the cops on me. And... <laughs> okay, this is a weird intro to the story. There was one time I was wrapping my friend's car in saran wrap, right? And I was putting sticky notes all over his car. And some woman had called the cops on me. And uh, the the cop pulls up, and he, go he gets out of the car, and he goes, What's going on here? I said, Wrapping my friend's car in saran wrap. He said, You're not vandalizing anything? I said, No, it comes right off. He said, Have a good day. And then he got back in his car and left. <laughs> like, like, why... Why is she mad? He's at a Goodwill. He tried to go into the community room. Oh, no. Let's arrest him. What? I get it. I don't want to give you guys a hard time. What the hell? How many of you guys pulled up? Is another one? I was in the store. Yeah, they got nothing else to do. The fuck? My God. Three people to take this man down at a Goodwill. Trying to, like, shoplift. But, like, they caught me. So I played it off like I wasn't going to. So then I ended up buying it. He was going to shoplift for real. That was, what, 50 cents? 50 cents is a lot to me. Dude, I would've gave you 50 cents. Three for all. Come on, man. You don't wanna... Why would he fake... Why would he act like he was gonna commit a crime? This man is actually saying he... Oh, yeah, no, I was trying to shoplift. No, you weren't. Why are you incriminating yourself right now? You've done nothing wrong. What are you doing? Now you're just telling a cop you were gonna steal. Dude, dude I'm out of, I came out the mud. You guys got me like that? I got you. You want right. something to eat? You hungry? No, no. Thank you, though. Thank you. You sure? Promise. Thank you. Okay. Really Call appreciate once, it. I'm good. Going twice? No, no. It's I, done. I can't accept that. You know I can't. It's <laughs> no. Nice cop, bro. W cop. W cop. W cop. Bro was offering to get him some food.
Oh, he shut up. Did they got y'all ID? No, nah, they asked for my name, but I lied about it. Why? Huh? What is? Oh, shit. All right, guys, we're finally here. This is the first gym of the day. So without this video, I'm gonna hit three gyms. Every gym's gonna have a different approach, and I'm gonna have a different number for each one. Let's see how this one does. Let's go. Let's go, ladies. Well, ain't the guy that's filming them just clearly a dude? Unless they're not a dude. No, but they say they called him a guy or some shit. Yo, Toasty for the fucking raid. W raid. Thank you for the fucking raid, Toasty OG. Dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you got, uh, or not. Oh my God, I'm doing the, I'm doing the base. Dude, I got, I got like fucking muscle memory on that shit. Like it's a sub. Can one of my mods do the follow thing? For Toasty, where you put it up. W raid. Uh, Shrevo for the sub, spec for the sub. Or spag for the sub. Uh, what's up? We're doing a react day today. If y'all don't know me, I'm Joe Bart. Twitch streamer, YouTuber, TikToker. As of right now. <laughs> as of right now. You don't know how TikTok's gonna be going in the future. But, um, yeah. We're doing a react day today. Right now we're watching an undercover at uh, Fennis Gym. Don't know how this video's gonna go. We'll see. Fast for the sub. I appreciate the raid, though. What was I saying? Oh, it's clear. Like, I feel like even if they're going to let him in, it's still clearly not going to work because the cameraman's probably just in regular, like, tank tank top fucking shorts. Looks like a dude. <laughs> Trying to be a member today? You know, you can't be a member today, although you look terrific. But... Why not? Oh, she being nice, too. What are you doing today? How come you're not looking at me? You're not making eye contact with me. I'm shy. Look how shy no, I am. No, you're not. You're pushing right off the jump. Come on. Ah, let's go. Let's come go together. Let's go. Are you a woman? What does it look like? You look like a man. I was my mother called earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're a women's only gym. All right. Unfortunately, I have to get a pump in before I go. But you can't. I only live by one ruler, and that's God. I live by God as well. Sir. Ma'am, sorry, Frederica. I'm sorry. Just feel like Durf's taken over. Bro, like, yo, now, like, now they're just putting, a, now they're putting this woman in a fucking scenario. Now they're, now they're making this woman, bro. Now they're making this woman gotta be. Oh, god damn it. You know what Durf is? It's an inner roar. Sir. Excuse me. Where are you going? Come with just, me. Excuse please, me. wait, no, please. Excuse me. Don't to touch me. me. Come with me, please. Huh? You need to come with. Me. Excuse me. Uh, 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 hey. hey. Come on. You guys are trying to kick me out. I, and I don't like it. I'm being called sir. Excuse me. Okay. Person. Person? I'm a woman just as much as you are. I'm a kitten. What? What? I'm a kitten. You a furry? I had bad experience with furries. What Durf's taking you over. Listen, you know what I'm trying to do. You look great. All right, look. If we shake hands, I'll leave. Can I kiss it? Okay, okay, let's go. Come on, seriously. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You make this very easy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? I thought you were gonna make it easy. I made it easy. You said I could kiss your hand. Thank you. Okay, have a great day. Bye. Have a great day. All right, guys, you know, the first one wasn't that accepting. Uh, like, that was so awkward, bro. That was so awkward. I didn't like watching that. I didn't like, like, I feel like some of the pranks, bro, I'm just sitting there like, ugh. Ugh. Hopefully, as the video goes on, I'll get accepted at least once. But I'm just saying, guys, like, whenever I get mad, like, my inner derf, like, whoo, get fired up sometimes. Nah, like, the Goodwill shit was funny, bro. You know what I mean? Right, miss? Damn straight, miss. Vibration training? Wow. Um, so you have vibration training? Yeah. You know, like, vibrate me? Vibrate you? Sure. <laughs> Wow. Something, right? Let's work out. If any of my homegirls want to get vibrated, I'll send them over here. Yeah, I'd love it. Uh, I bet. <laughs> you, you look like the type. Why is there no one at that gym? Oh, it smells like washing machine in here. Do you guys have any like spare clothes I can wear? Because like, this is all I have right now. I'm not from here. We don't have. No, 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 sir. Sir? Sir? Or ma'am? Okay. I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, now he's just being a dick. Stop. Sorry. It's okay. Give me a hug. It's okay. It's okay. You've got a, you've got a deep don't, voice. Don't, don't, I'm sorry. Don't, don't worry about it. Joyce Myers has the same problem. I look up to them. They them. Yeah, nobody's oh. supposed to be back here. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 
Good. So uh, I'm going to the all uh, women's gym, but I'm secretly a dude. You got something cleavage on here? I've got pretty face. That's like zipper up or down. Uh, no, uh, just just actually where you had it, because that, that would oh. that, that'd be great. I saw you walking in, so you really got to play the part. You got to walk a little bit more gingerly. That, that's it. This is all women's gym. Sorry. What do you think I am to you? A man. Yeah, yeah I, you gotta go out. No, no seriously. Seriously, you have to stop. It's out. a women's only gym. No. 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 Huh? Seriously, seriously, go that way. Get out. Go that way. We need to take the camera too. I'm, I'm done. No. Then get out. Go. <laughs> No, I'm no, trying to work out and you guys are not no, taking me in. No, women's only gym and it says right Yo, bro, like, I, I feel like, I feel, I understand they're in the right, right? It's a women's only gym. He's not allowed in, right? But if this were to happen to me, I feel like I would just let him work out and then, like, call my management. Like, I'm not getting paid enough bread to deal with this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting paid enough bread, Right. It, you got to be paying me. If you want me to be like them, you got to be paying me 100K a year to fucking deal with this. No. Like, I'm not. I'm, I'm like, it, like, they're probably making, like, a base salary as a personal trainer or some shit. You're bugging out the ass. You think I'm going to be fucking trying to have an argument with this guy to kick him out. Attention, all gentlemen. What do I have to do to if prove? It's their gym. Doubtful. Owners, most owners of gyms just don't even fucking go to their gym. Like, I've been, like, I, I, I used to have a membership at another gym. I, I go to this one gym now. I've seen the owner there maybe twice, ever. Ever. Most people that own gyms own multiple gyms. Move to you. No. It's no. not like Bradley Martin, where, like, he's there every day. Oh, your Adam's apple is giving you away. Let's go. What the? What is that supposed to mean? Come oh, on. I know what you're talking about. That's rude. Um, if you don't know what an Adam's apple is, you don't know that you're... You know, Please out. Can I just get a quick pump? No, out. You're really hurting my feelings right now. Well, tough. You're a man. You can get out. See, to me, you're a joke. Yes, that's fine. Get out. I mean, y'all could use the business right now. Like, fuck, dude. Y'all ain't got no one in your gym. I'm not even shitting on shapes, dude. Like, I don't care. Like, I get it. Yeah, fitness for women, that's fine. Like, yeah, on all women's gym, I get the need for that, especially since men are weird at gyms. But, like, they ain't got no one there. They ain't got no one there. You got about 10 members at your fucking gym. Get out. See, to me, you're a joke. Like, yeah. this shit is empty. They're the only people there. Where is... Is there anyone there that doesn't work there? <laughs> That's fine. Get out. Are you weird at the gym? No. I'm saying as a whole, though, there are men that are weird at gyms. That's a fucking thing. I understand there's a need for a, a women's only gym. Like, that is a market that makes sense. It get it, I get it. I'm saying their gym just doesn't have anybody there. L, Joe? How's that an L? It's a women's only... Dude, it's their business. Put that back now. Put it back. I just want to work out, and you guys are making this a scene. You cannot work out in this gym. You cannot videotape in this gym. Okay, you got me there. That's my sister. So, your sister cannot videotape. Take the camera outside, and then I will talk to you. Anything that has to do with gender transformation, we have to follow protocol. Okay. okay. So what do we have to do? Do you have to pee in a cup? No. Once you Why would you have to pee in a cup? Is complete? Then we can talk. It is complete. Can I ask why the camera? Honestly, I just go on TikTok. I like post thirst traps. As you can see, like there's like a lot of cleavage. <laughs> Can you just say- If I was one of these pranksters, I would be worried that they would sue me, right? Because if you are filming someone without their permission and you post it and make money off of it, they could get you in, like, a fuck- Not a fuckload of trouble, but they could, like, do something. Like, he's probably not saying, I'm gonna post this. TikTok and Cyclo for the sub. Alright, next vid. I gotta pee again, hold up. Smith for the sub, Dairy for the 400 biddies. The vid wasn't, I mean, the, it was, it wasn't an awful video, but yeah, no, it was getting, it was getting near to the point where he was like, just purposely being a dick. <laughs> but I mean, that's most YouTube pranksters. Uh, all right, hold up. Somebody redeemed Flex? All right. Coming out 30 seconds.
psycho, psy, psy, psy crow, dude. I don't know how to say your name. Uh, I already said thank you for the sub, but all right, we actually will have time to add another video. What vid do we want to watch now? Because I do want to end on a man in a time loop must work with his brother to protect, c prevent catastrophic fire. Or do we just do this video and then a scary video? Ooh, we could do this and then scary vids. We'll do this and then scary vids. A man in a time loop must work with his brother to prevent a catastrophic fire. Exit strategy. Lock in. And then we'll do scary vids after this. Yo, I will say though, were, were any of y'all here for the snake video that we watched yesterday? That video was one of the best videos I've ever seen on YouTube. That was a good ass video. Had a great, it was a great story. It was like a mini fucking movie. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I can pick up food on the way back. It was fake though. They were actors. I'm ignoring you. Matt. Shane. What are you doing here? Well, Bridget would have been upset if I had come to your house, so... Man, I'm not complaining. I just figured you'd be in space or building a hover car or something. Golly, it's been like... Four years, three months, 21 days. Hey, Matt. The usual? Yes, ma'am. This right here is my brother, Shane. Shane, this is Robin, Robin, your favorite waitress at the downtown diner. I'll take an apple juice, lots of ice. Don't worry about the spill. Black coffee, apple juice, plenty of ice. Still is sticking oh, apple juice. he's already in the loop. He's already in the loop. He has to be. To know that. Yes, huh? You know, it's funny, every time he's I He's weird, he's not weird. It's like, imagine if you were stuck in one scene forever and ever and ever and ever. You would eventually just memorize what everybody's going to say. Slum, uh, for the three. Can you watch the Mandela catalog today or another day? I've already seen pieces of it, and I don't really want to watch it. At Kitty's lunch, she always asks for a juice box. I guess she takes after her uncle. Me. You have somehow gotten more awkward. Go to ESPN live stream. Liverpool versus Manchester United. Roberto Firmino will Stop score wait, 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 off wait, a corner. Wait, let, me, let me get there first. Now what? Roberto Firmino scores off a corner. Now. Wow. I cannot believe the Mustang High Math League captain just told me to watch the sport. Math got me a full ride to MIT. What did playing with a ball get you? Laid. Ah, laid. Sure. One black coffee and no. sorry. No, 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 Ooh, no, no, no worries, phone. no worries, no worries, no worries. Oh, gosh. I'm due for an upgrade anyway. Um, I will get you another apple juice. No need. So, so. How'd you know Firmino was going to score that goal? I'll show you. Let's go. Well, let's wait till we... Get our breakfast first. I, I'm a much better listener when I have my bacon. What's that? Timer. We need to leave right now. Pay the waitress. Left Dude, pocket. I love these videos. Have y'all ever seen the movie Groundhog? Or Groundhog Day? Is that the one that it is? Where it's just an infinite time loop with Bill Murray. Dude, that movie's so nice. I love any, any movie where it goes into time loops and they have to figure out a way out of it. It's so fucking cool. I guess I'll call him sick. This afternoon, a fire breaks out in the forest by Pines Road. Oh, where Dad and I used to force you to come camping exactly. with us. Exactly. 18 people die. We have to get there and stop it before it starts. Well, I'll put in a call. I'll get some trucks up there. No, when we did that, they turn up and they leave because the fire hasn't happened yet. Oh, is that like a way you would have died? Time traveling Smokey the Bear? It's actually a time loop. I discovered that if I manipulate the cosmic string phases by 3.87. Oh, what? I can repeat time. I don't have the energy yet to go any further back past today, and I have to reset the loop by sunset or I'm stuck in the present. But. So it's kind of like Groundhog Day. Yeah. It's exactly like Groundhog Day. I kind of. Are you coming? Your battery's dead. I, I thought this was gonna be scary. Oh my god. We have a complainer. We have a complainer. I said 
and I quote, and you can rewind it, right? Because the VOD exists. We're going to watch this, and then we'll watch scary videos. We're going to watch this, and then we'll watch scary videos, right? I said that. I never said this video was scary, ever. If you actually just read the title, it's clearly not scary. This is boring. Well, by all means, <laughs> leave. I'll ban you, actually. Uh, big fat for the 3 inches of bitty sponge for the sub. I'm watching this video. If you don't want to watch it, you can leave for all the people that are about to say this is boring. A.K.A. the five chatters that for some reason complain over and 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 over. The majority of people are perfectly chill, right? And then there's like four people that just, oh my god, I don't like this video. I don't like this video either. I don't like, why are you staying for the fucking four hour stream? Four hours. And they like one video that I watch. Mr. Bombastic for the 300 bitties. Are you practicing guitar still? No, your boy for the 300 bitties. Uh, if social media doesn't work out, are you going to try? What are you going to try doing with your philosophy degree? Nothing. I'm going to open a business. Crack for the 300 bitties. Any advice for streaming? Tonio for the sub. Uh, any advice for streaming? I would say start out on TikTok, but TikTok's even harder to grow on now. Uh, I do have a exclamation point streaming tips or something like that because uh, I get asked this question a lot. Start elsewhere, grow from there, find your niche, then expand. You kind of got to figure it out on your own, though. Um, like, I don't want to say that I can't give you advice that will help you, because I can. But, like, when I did it, I never had advice, right? I did it alone entirely. Uh, yeah, I used Google YouTube tutorials on how to set up a stream. But I'm saying the majority of people that find success do it on their own. Because if you just follow a cookie cutter, cookie, cookie cutter method, you're going to fail. Um, just because you aren't appealing to a computing system, you're appealing to people. And people have their own individual personalities that go into different communities, and you have to appeal and form your own community under your own personality. You have a different personality than me. So I can't give you definitive advice on how to be successful, because how you would be successful is different than how I became successful on YouTube or Twitch, or TikTok, because my personality is different from yours. Was that too fast? All right, back to the vid. SUV for us to use. My battery is not dead. Well, I'm still driving. Okay, take Jefferson out towards Margarita. 49 is way faster. It's gonna be an accident. Loose tire. Take the next left, skip Kings. Water main broke, flooded the street. Okay. How many times has he been in this loop to remember all of that? Excuse me, sir, you, uh, you want your windows washed? Oh, no, man, we're good. Trying to get us killed? I'll explain when we fix the flat. What? Dude, what is going on? In 0.25 miles, there'll be uh, an underpass by the railroad track. Park next to the track. He has a notepad? Yeah, Jane, but how is he keeping it? Man, you are it? freaking me out, dude. How did you know the tire was gonna blow? The, 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 the battery was dead. Firmino scores that goal. What, what, is, what is going yo, on? Yo, yo, your brother's a fucking idiot. I feel like anybody would have figured out. He literally said, oh, like Groundhog Day. And then now he's kidding. How did you know the tire was going to blow? You just said it was like Groundhog Day, you fucking dumbass. So it happened before. Here's the tire. Right. Hi, I'm Luke. Okay. Okay. Why does it seem like the entire world is against us since we left that diner? Because it is. Time is a scientist. We're just rats stuck in her maze. She doesn't want us to get to the exit, so she keeps adding more walls, more traps. It's very progressive pronoun use. Thank you. Look, a hundred things will go wrong to make sure we don't get to this fire. I have relived this day again, and again, and again, and I still haven't been able to get to the fire with you. So we've had this conversation before? Oh, yeah. All right, then what am I going to say next? Trick question, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Yo, that would make me think everybody's fake.
Like I, dude, I, me just being th them never having a different opinion, never having a different fucking response. They always say the same thing to me. I would be on a, so mad at some point. I feel like that's why he's emotionless, though. Uh, Tony, for the sub. Oh, the philosophy degree thing. If so, what are your job? Are you gonna plan on doing? Probably open a business. Uh, I could get a job within philosophy. Uh, I might one day down the line. I don't really know what the future holds. I've kind of realized that you can't really definitively say what you're going to do within 10 years because whatever you say you're going to do in 10 years is likely not what you're going to be doing in 10 years. Most people's plans for their lives end up changing. So just go along with the ride. You know, strive towards your goals, but if they get deviated and you end up doing something else, whatever. Kitty for the sub. Thanks for the help. Welcome. Hey, you remember that time you helped me run for class president? You tried to hack the school computer system and rig the election for me? Tried? You were elected eighth grade president, as I recall. I was running for sixth grade president. Really? <laughs> Dude, you don't remember that? They called us into Principal Bedford's office. Wait, why is the conversation different? He couldn't believe that you had memorized 400 lines of code and forgot your own brother's age. We gotta go, finish that up. I'm 28. Yeah, that's something new, that's weird. Oh, now he knows he's in the loop so he can change everything. That's untrue. Even if he knew he was in the loop, he could still fucking have the same response. I want to put on some music. No. Let's keep the radio off. Who needs music when you have random beeping? I've calibrated it to go off at key moments to keep us on schedule. If we don't meet the deadlines, bad things happen. What, do they die? What about the clicking? Is that part of the... What have you been up to the last four years, buddy? When you're with me, we never made it past the roadblock before. Oh, me? Oh, well, you beat the police in the annual softball game. Uh, Katie had a bouncy castle for her birthday party, and that was a whole lot of fun. Dude, honestly, there's, uh, I got some big news. We're here. Pull over here. Pull over. Stop here. You want me to gun it and see if we can break through this barricade? No, when we did that, the car flips and you're decapitated. What? Yo, he's watched his brother die. He got decapitated. He's probably seen himself and his brother die like a thousand times. Seriously? Yeah. Hmm. Uh. I need to turn back. Sinkhole up here. Took out the whole damn road. Okay, I'm gonna talk to him no, soon. You can. Well, what do you think we should do? Oh my god, he's at the it's new it's new territory. Oh god. I'm gonna try something new. Oh, so you just try, it's just trial and error, trial and error every time. Did you hear what I said? The road closed. We're gonna kiss him or some shit. I saw the poster for your missing dog. Say what? I actually found him. Jasper, my, my, my dog, is he okay? Yeah, he's tied up in front of the downtown diner. Uh, set up food and water, which should prevent discomfort until you retrieve him. Okay. But how do you even... No way, it doesn't even matter, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, I need you to cover for me at Pines Road. Hey, you know how Jasper went missing today? Yeah, some guy found him. Yo, he fucking... How did he find out that his dog was even missing? A lot of time to find that dog. Eh, not really. I took him from his backyard this morning. Oh my god! Found his house, stole his dog, missing dog, retrieval, easy. Makes sense. Okay. 
I thought it was already missing. I was going to say that would have been impossible. Plex them up for the sub, Ryan and Kitty for the sub. Can I explain what's happening? I just got here. They're in a time loop. Um, The brother that is scrawnier in the red shirt figured out how to reverse time. And time wants you to fail and not prevent things from happening, right? Uh, it's kind of like inevitability. And so he's trying to beat that. And so he's relived this moment trying to get to a fire thousands and thousands of times. Uh, and his brother is helping him get to a fire. And I think, I'm assuming, save somebody's life. Uh, which would get him out of the time loop and also give him more capability of doing it in the future. Stop pausing too much. I'm not. Okay, we're on foot from here. He's back. All right. You ready to save the world? You want to time travel back? Try that again? No. Let's go. I feel like the brother's just randomly going to get de decapitated. Come on. Or just Pick die. It Pick it up. We're here. This is it. Hey, sorry about this. No fires today. Y'all shouldn't be out here by yourselves anyway. You have some weirdo come up to you. Well, you don't have to run up me or whatever. We Was did that it. the fire? I'm glad you're here. That was the fire? You know, this isn't really a fire that would have gotten out of control, though. There's a good perimeter, and there's a lot of... What's that? It's my emergency pager. Five alarm fire broke out downtown, six blocks from the diner. Why'd you bring me out here? When you stay downtown, you die. We tried to stop the fire hundreds of times. We stop the electrical fire, and then an oven fire breaks out in the kitchen. We stop the kitchen fire, then three teenagers forget to put a cigarette out next door. Fire always happens, you always die. I always live. Even when you manage to rescue a few people, you never make it out. So, I started looking for another exit to the maze, away from the fire. I spent days searching for locations. I calibrated what would be the shortest safe distance away, and then it hit me. Here, so we used to go camping with Dad. Firemen don't run from fires. Something always happened. It brought you back to the fire or killed you on your way out of town. This time, we, I saved you this time. I don't need you to save me, Shane. Why do you even care? You've talked to me like twice since Dad died. Yeah, but look, if I could create a time... What are you asking to die? I'd say, pal, I just spent the last fucking, I don't know, 20 years in a time loop trying to save your cuck ass, and now you're complaining? Yo, fuck this guy. Yo, fuck this guy. All right, go step under the tree. It'll fall on your head. That goes back to when... I don't care about time loops, Shane! If you don't... If you don't care, why did you come? Because I wanted to spend time with my brother. Give me the key, Shane. No, I can't oh, do that. Could he have just could he have just fixed the time loop by saying, hey brother, you wanna go bowling? Bro spent Bro spent 40 years trying to fix his brother <laughs> trying to save his brother. All he had to do. Hey, do you want to go bowling? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, fire downtown. I'll get somebody else to cover it. <laughs> Instead of him going back. Give me the key, Shane! People are dying! Oh, he's gonna die. The tree's gonna fall no, on no, his no, head. No. Oh, did he die? He died. Matt. Wow. I don't think there's a way he could save it then. Oh, he's gonna you give can't up. Escape the maze. How's it going? Uh, work at the fire station, fire station three downtown. If you're a firefighter, you need to get your asses back out in town, man. If there's a fire out there, not back here. I found your dog. You can throw out some music. Leave the fire downtown to spread to a second building. Firefighters are just arriving at the scene. You gotta go back. No radio. 
So every beep is a time where he would die. Fired up now. All right, I'm coming. Or change to die. How about you give me all your fucking money? <laughs> There's going to be a fire down. Did y'all keep trying? I feel like I would give up, dude. After that long. Like, I get it's his sibling, but, like, bro, he's spending, like, equivalently, like, I would assume years trying to figure this out. A Liz for the sub, scrub for the 300 year, uh, 300 bitties. Who is your hottest family member? Yeah, you're getting banned, dude. Sorry, bro. And then he said some weird shit about his sister. Yeah, bro, I don't know, dude. Like, even if that was a joke, yeah. No, that's... No. Oh, tried to do the user to see their messages. Yeah. I mean, I'll see what your unbanned request is, but for right now, I'm going to ban you, dude. Etho for the 300 bitties. Uh, I just had the most intense fucking workout ever at the gym. I don't want to sound parasocial. You honestly motivated me and a lot of other people to better themselves. Dub, I'm glad I could help. Uh, and W message from Etho. Dude, the Scrub, I know you were probably joking, bro. Like, I'm assuming you're not serious, but like, I'm going to say that shit is just not. Yeah. Town, we can stop it. You bring every fire truck you can get. Okay, it's just us, no fire trucks. You go in through the front. I'm going in through the front. Okay, look, I've timed this out. If we don't leave right now, you die. Don't go for the hose. What are you not gonna do? Go for the hose. Wait, now, how is it already? It should be working. Does he wake up? Uh Where are the girls? Great. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I can pick up food on the way back. Number 380. Yo, he's watched his brother die 379 times. C7 for the 300 bitties. Uh, I don't really have anything to say. I got Prime and I'm drinking Prime. How's your day going? Good. I don't think he can leave until he saves him. No, he just reset it. If he just moves on, he could just move on. Shane, what are you doing here? I can't check up on my brother. Oh, oh wow. I'm not complaining. I just figured you'd be in space or building a hover car or something. Golly, it's been like four years, three months, 21 days. Hey, Matt, the usual? Yes, ma'am. This right here is my brother, Shane. Shane, this is Robin, the best waitress at the downtown diner. Can I get you anything? I will take an apple juice, extra ice. Black coffee, apple juice, plenty of ice. Bill's taking apple juice. Oh, he's switching it up. You know, it's funny, every time I uh, pack Katie's lunch, she always asks for a juice box. I think she takes after her uncle a little bit. Does she still eat Cocoa Puffs? Lucky Charms? Um, oh, he's acting interested! Dude, he has to hang, if he hangs out with his brother, maybe it saves him. Who? Better, actually. She eats chocolate Lucky Charms. <laughs> I didn't even know those existed. Well, they do, and we have family-sized boxes by the dozen. <laughs> it's amazing. What's up? Oh, I'll say nothing. This is... Nothing. Hey, have you got time to stay for breakfast? Yo, that's kind of going to be a cringe-ass ending, though, if all he had to do to save his brother was have breakfast with him.
He knows he can't save his brother, so he thought he would spend time over the food. Yeah, but maybe that's the way he did save him. Do you think he saved his brother or not? Oh, God, dude. It's... Staying for breakfast is the only way out of the maze. They order food, talk to his brother. His brother gets diarrhea from the food and goes to the toilet. He leaves his phone on the table and the emergency pager drops in the toilet, spoiling it. Thus, he doesn't have to go to the fire and survives for another day. That kid just made up his own dumbass ending. The fuck was that? All right, we'll watch a scary vid. We'll watch. We'll watch one scary vid, dude. The hairlines. I feel like the hairlines getting worse. Has to be. Has to be. We'll do. We'll watch mukbang. Y'all sent this one here. XD for the sub. Arsenal for the three inch He's running at the gym all right now, and you're giving me the motivation. Big dub. Dub. Lax for the sub. C sub for the three inch bitties. Uh, already read that dark for the three. I got a new puppy. She's so cute. What type of dog is it? All right. Lock in. Mukbang. I don't know if this one's funny, scary, or just scary. I'm assuming it'll be funny, scary. Hi, guys. It's me, Carly. And today we're doing the Korean Fire Noodle Challenge. In front of me is 20 packs of Korean Fire Noodles. Wow, the effects are way too loud. 1,000 calories, 10 pounds of food. The current record, 15 packs in 10 minutes. I've got my timer ready. In three, two, one. You're not even chewing. You're just, you're just putting it in your mouth and then letting it back out of your mouth. You post a new food challenge video? Mm, yep. I already has 10,000 likes. Wow. 10,000 likes! Congrats. Thanks. I know you cheated. From unknown. You would never be able to edit it like that. You would have to be in the same exact starting position every time. Homie's got a camera above her. I'd go look at the camera. I'd swallow that shit like a pill. Push said call and I'll leak the fo footage. Call the cops on a stalker? Have your stupid ass fucking mukbang get un unveiled. I'm going to say, okay, it's edited. Good shit. I'm going to still call it, you're stalking. You're stalking. Just delete the video? Bro, still. I like, even even then, I'm going to be like, I'd rather, I'd rather figure this shit out. C7 for the three minis. Did you know that Jinxy hit number one on uh, Twitch subs? Yeah. Do the challenge for real live streams. So she just has to eat all of the noodles. No one can eat that much. Oh, no. There's a few people that... Oh, I know. I know a few YouTubers that could eat 10,000 calories of noodles. I've seen them do it.
Matt Stoney. Nikocado Avocado never really finishes the challenges. It's mainly competitive eaters. Just eat the fucking noodles. Like, is that hard? I'd, I'd just be like, okay, I'll eat the noodles. That or get the hey cops involved. Guys, it's me, Carly, and today is my first ever live challenge. And I thought we would start off by doing the last challenge, but me beating it this time. In front of me is 20 packs of Korean fire noodles. I've got my timer ready in three. But she got 428 viewers. I'm not dissing that. I'm saying, like, bro, at that point, I'd say, okay, the, the video's fake. Two. One. <laughs> oh, no, her viewers are skyrocketing. Wow. I'm going to just take my sweet old time eating them. Dude, she's not chewing. <laughs> The fucking 10,000 calories of bucket noodles and milk? Buddy, any other liquid would be better. I know it's spicy, but damn. That's gonna fucking sit in your stomach. Yo, you would just vomit. They're acting like your stomach's gonna explode. You would just fucking throw up. No damn way in seven minutes she ate half that fucking bowl. Press it, Michelangelo said, Cowabunga! Cowabunga! Mom, mom, Morty. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> bro, why are the why ain't they actually add actual chats, bro? Bro, Rick, wubba lubba dub dub. Oh, I ate too much ramen! <laughs> yeah, that's what happens to everybody when that- when that ha when, when that occurs. Oh, she died. Carly, are you okay? Well, it looks like Carly bit off more than she could chew. It was the sister all along. <gasps> Here's for the sub toasted for the 300 bitties. If you know who World of T-shirts is, your opinion on him. Um, he follows me. I follow him. If you know, who uh, I know who he is. I've seen his recent endeavors. Uh, yeah, no, he is getting into quite uh, an alcohol problem. Uh, he needs to get out of that, but. I mean, I don't really know. He's not really listening to anybody. I know Gideon reached out to him. I'm pretty sure he, uh, like, he removed him or something. Uh, yeah, no, it is a problem. Uh, Slom for the three. Stupid-ass video about W Stream. See you next, uh, stream. Appreciate you, Joe. Uh, W Stream, by the way. Chat. Um, we're gonna call it there. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be live at 2 p.m. EST. We're gonna be doing Fortnite and Val. Maybe a little bit of X Defiant, uh, the open beta, because I have the game if I want to, but 
Uh, if not, we'll just rock with Fortnite and Val. Probably going to start out with Fortnite. 2 p.m. EST. Uh, Sunday's going to be a React Day at 2. Uh, exclamation point Discord. If you want to join the Discord, send videos for me to react to, games for me to play. I have a video suggestion tab for uh, React Days and a game suggestion tab for Gaming Days. Uh, so yeah, if you have any games you want me to play uh, or vids to react, make sure to join and send those in. Not a guarantee I watch them or play them, but uh, it always helps. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow, uh, Fortnite Val, 2 p.m. Uh, EST uh, reacts at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, and Monday, we will be doing more Last of Us at 4.30. Tuesday off, Wednesday, we're going to be doing Bigfoot with Zeusy uh, and maybe some other games. Uh, or Finding Bigfoot, the, the scary hunting game. Uh, and then next Thursday, we'll probably be doing maybe Fort Val, maybe maybe React Day, maybe something like that. FMV game, probably an FMV game. Uh, I probably won't be live next Saturday, but I will be live tomorrow. But yeah, W stream once again. We're going to raid. I don't know who we want to raid, though. Who do we raid? Uh, I won't be post. Oh, I will be posting on YouTube today. Today's Friday. I keep forgetting. Uh, I'll be posting on YouTube right after this, by the way. Uh, for anybody that wants to watch that, if you're sad that I'm ending stream. But, yeah, we could raid Zussi. Uh, But I will be posting on YouTube right after this. Um, And, yeah. Hope you all had fun watching the stream once again. I had fun streaming for y'all. I appreciate everybody that came into the stream. We had a great audience today. A lot of people on stream. Uh, and I appreciate everybody. I hope to uh, catch y'all in future streams. And I hope I entertained you today. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch y'all later. We're going to rate it 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.